All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning, good morning. If you are new to my channel, I definitely want to welcome you here. We are rolling up to almost the end of what month are we in, ladies and gentlemen? April? Almost to May? Wow. Goodness gracious, it's just flying through here. And I tell you what, if you've been waiting to play Star Citizen, let me tell you, if you've been waiting to play Star Citizen because you're worried about the wipe and, and all that stuff, well, let me tell you what. 318.2 came out last night, and I think they surprised a lot of people. A lot of people. Because they only did a soft wipe. And if you don't know what soft wipe means, um, <laughs> it's not what you're thinking. So what they do on a soft wipe is they basically let you keep your, your credits, okay, and your reputation that you earned. Now, a lot of people, like myself, they either did not play during 318.1 or they just played a little bit, just enough to get their fix in, if you know what I'm saying. So, um, anyways, and that's what I did. I played here and there. I streamed it a little bit, kind of waiting for 318.2 to come out. Because apparently on 318.2, they were supposed to do a full wipe, and everybody was all upset and all kind of stuff. Well, when it launched last night, they only did a soft wipe. And everybody was like, what? Oh, man, I wish I'd been playing this whole time. Well, yeah, I'm kind of one of those. I wish I was playing hardcore because they only did a soft wipe, guys. They only did a soft wipe. Can you believe that? Man, get back into Star Citizen. Get back into the pilot seat. Grab your joysticks, your flight sticks, your mouse and keyboard, your controller, whatever it is. And let's play some Star Citizen. That's what it's about today. That's what it's about today. Oh, boy. Let's see. What do we got over here? Let's go ahead and join one of the channels in our Discord real quick. That way we can get some people talking to us. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see here. Let's bring those screens back up so we can get into the game, start playing. Good morning, good morning. Hello, how are you guys doing? All right, so we, like I said, they did a soft wipe yesterday. They released 318.2. And it's definitely exciting. I can't wait to get back into the game and really start playing. You know, get some bunker missions. Go and do some mining. Go and um, do some mercenary work and transportation. All kind of stuff. I can't believe they only did a soft wipe. Boy, that is so exciting. Got to keep what reputation we had and just keep on moving on. Let me see. What did we do last night? What's going on there, Nose to Black? How you doing, buddy? I tell you what, man, it's time to get back into Star Citizen. If you hadn't been playing because of the 318.2 potential wipe coming, guess what? It was just a soft wipe, my guy. Just a soft wipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get out there and find some um, Quantanium right quick. That way we can get some processing. And then from there, I'm doing, I'm doing great, man. I'm doing... Excellent. Last night when I saw 318.2 launch, I was like, okay, here comes the full wipe. Here we go again. And then all my credits were there. All my, my rep was still there. So I'm really excited. I hope that's the way they keep it. Now let's just see if the game is going to work right. <laughs> Uh-oh. On the infinite loading screen, here we go. Yeah, everybody did go crazy yesterday. You're right. Oh, there it is. Hangar 4. Yeah, so it is a little bit laggy on the terminals. I don't know why or what's going on with that. Maybe it's the loading the ships or, or what's going on. But it is that. Yesterday it wasn't so bad. This morning it's a little bit bumpy. But yeah, we'll get going with it. Just closing out another screen. Come on. There we go. Got too many screens up. Too much stuff going on. So we're going to see if we can get out here and get some, uh, some Quantanium right quick. Maybe we'll get at least one asteroid cooking so we got a little bit of a bump of money. Then we might go do some... All kind of stuff. Just kind of get back into the game. Get back into the groove of it for sure. I mean, I even got coffee today, guys. 
I'm so excited to actually play the game and get some progress going in it. I went and got me some coffee. I was like, oh boy, I haven't had coffee now in about three weeks. Oh my goodness. There it is right there, guys. That is so good. Man, I've been um, I've been chugging down Mountain Dews trying to get some caffeine lately, and it just it just ain't there. It just ain't there. Have a pleasant stay, he says. All right, I don't even remember where I logged off. Let me see here. Her L2 to Arc L1. Yeah, definitely excited to get back into the game for sure. Yeah, that way we can do all kind of stuff. We don't have to just sit there and, you know, do one thing and get ready for that silly little wipe. All right, let's see where we need to go to potentially get into band five. Let me pull up my little cheat sheets we got over here in Discord. What did I say we were at? Hurl two. We can try to go from Hurl two. It's a microtech. Boy, that is a jump. I'm from A to B. So we're at 26,274. 26,274. Am I going to be able to remember that? Hey, I tell you what. Yesterday, guys, if you want to see something great, go and watch our video that we did trying to escape prison. Man. That was awesome. I got into what I call the Kyle jump. And um, I got all the way there, no assistance, didn't need any assistance. And um, yeah, from there, I actually I actually did it. I made it on the first time. So Kyle got in a Discord with me, and we went all the way through, all the way through. I got up to where I could see the stars, and I was on the final platform. I had like 2% error, so I think I was going to die anyway. He said I wasn't because the rover was somewhere close. But um, anyways, yeah, so we were... We were right there, and I made that final jump and missed and died. Oh, boy. What did we say? Band 5, 26-2. 26-2. What do you got there, Nose to Black? When will what be, my man? 26-2, right, so we're riding now. Microtech is quite a long ways away. Quite a long ways away. But we got our coffee. We got some music. We got some good company. That's all we need today. Oh, boy. Trying to get back onto a streaming schedule here. I know we've been real quiet around here lately, so definitely trying to get back out there and grab everybody's attention. Come tell them to play some more Star Citizen. Twenty-six two seven four. Trying to look at something real quick while we're flying here. What's going on there, GS Possum? Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, I should say, right? Ah. 
Oh, boy. <laughs> Checking to see, make sure that you are in the giveaway. Absolutely. Absolutely. There you go. 26-2 is what we're looking at. That's what we're trying to get to. So, GS Possum, what is your go-to gameplay style in the game? What do you like to do? 26-2. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and stop right about there. Let's see what kind of mess we can get into here. Come on. There it is. Let's see what we got. Anything major? We're about to see if everything is working whenever we pull up to whatever this asteroid is. See if the um, mining laser is actually working or not. If it's going to scan or not. We might have to re-log, go to a different server. We'll see. What's going on there, Mag Magyon Solo? How you doing this morning? Hope you're doing well. No, it's an F type. Oh seven, oh seven, that's right. Looks like everybody's still sleeping. Probably a little bit too early for everybody to wake up. Always love it when our early risers come in here and say good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are in the world, I'll tell you. Went outside for my morning walk this morning. It was just beautiful outside. Beautiful sunrise. It wasn't hot or muggy. Absolutely loved it. Okay, let's see what we're rolling up on here now. It's 9 a.m. there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I love getting out and going for an early morning sunrise walk. If you're able to do that every day or even, you know, sunset, I know it's a little bit warmer in some areas. But to get out there and just really enjoy the, the fresh air and men. Okay, we got some F types here. Come on, give me a Q. Give me a Q. Nothing major. I want to. I really want to get a nice Quantanium set. That's really what I'm trying to get for. Not really too worried about getting anything in between. We've got all these F-type clusters, though. If we don't find anything out here in the belt right now, we'll head over to uh, Lyria and mess around. I like to try to do Halo mining for sure. Halo mining just... You know, it, it's so big as to where you're going down on Laria. Everybody wants to go on Laria. With the Halo, it's just monstrous. Monstrous.
Yeah, I still can't believe that I got it almost out of prison. I was at I had was like 99%. One more jump and I was there. Man. Man. I even like attacked the space station just so I could go to prison. And I know I could have paid to get rid of my crime stat, but I really wanted to try it to really see what you guys are going to go through. And man, I tell you what, if you guys have been practicing, hopefully you guys are selected. Man. Talk about a run. What's really bad is last night, right before the reset, I found a, I think it was a 47% Quantanium Rock. Mined it, took it, dropped it off. It was like 33 hours of, you know, wait time, which I'm fine with. I don't mind waiting. And then I, I logged out to, I don't know, go get something to drink or jump servers or whatever. And went to log back in and it was like, oh, here you go. Here's 318.2. That big rock you just found. Psych. <laughs> oh, man. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, what do we have over here out in the middle of the belt? Is my scanner going to work this time? <laughs> landing gear down. Ships are all going crazy. Landing gear is down. All kind of stuff. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. That's why. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sitting here like my hand is resting. I thought it was on the M key. Apparently it was on the N key for my landing gear. It just kept going up and down, up and down. Oh yeah, everybody. Everybody. What is it? What is it we got here? Okay, looks like we got a little ship. Anybody got a, um, a vulture, a reclaimer? Want to come out here and salvage this ship? You can. Let me see what it is to see if it's actually worth going after. I don't know if it will be or not. Oh, I think that's like a C2 or something, isn't it? Let me flip over. One time I'm not in my vulture, I find a monster ship to salvage. Oh, man. Yep, there she is, guys. There she is. I know it looks small on the screen. But believe me, that's a lot of salvage right there to get. Oh, man. It's one of those times that I'm a little jealous that I have my pro or my uh, my vulture out here or my reclaimer. Well, at least I know the route to go to find this bad boy. Oh, well. Oh, man. This is money down the drain right there, guys. Money down the drain. Oh, well. That's good to see, though. I'm, I'm happy to see that because during 318.1, I wasn't seeing a lot of salvage out. During 318, I was seeing salvage everywhere and people ships everywhere. It was kind of overwhelming. But to randomly be out here in the belt and find a whole C2? Oh boy. I don't know what I want to do. I, I need to I want to get a quantanium load. That I want to do. Then I can take out the vulture. I don't know what we'll do. We'll leave it up to you guys.
Okay, where did it go? I tell you what, if I find another ship out here, I'm probably going to go get my vulture. I just can't believe that. Whole C2. Man. What do we got here? An N type. N type. Man, where's the Q's at? Give me my Q's. Let's go. What's going on there, Buns007? How you doing this morning? Good morning, good morning. Are you going to get into 318.2 with us? Yes, 07, 07. A short day. Yes, yes, definitely hit that W word. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I'm glad you got in a short day. You also plan on seeing how 318.2 is going? Hey, I tell you what, everybody, everybody, when it came out yesterday, everybody was like, a soft wipe? Like, that's it? Yeah, baby. You get to keep your credits, got to keep your reputation. Everybody's, the servers just went nuts yesterday. There was people everywhere. See, I wish they would announce that kind of stuff. Like, let people know, hey, it's just going to be a soft wipe. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So many people last night in, in multiple different discords that I'm in, multiple different gaming communities. They, oh, I wish I was playing. I wish I was playing. Oh, man, I can't believe I didn't play. Yep, all that time wasted. Almost, what, two or three weeks that 318.1 was out? Yeah, yeah, they that's it. That's it. But you know, they were getting a lot of negative backlash though, you know, people you got a 3 318.1 full wipe and then to turn around and have another full wipe on 318.2, nobody like that was just horrible. I think they saw that in the numbers. There was hardly anybody playing. See if we can get this bad boy heated up. See if it'll actually go. How big is this bad boy? 49? Nah, we might be able to crack it. It might take us a minute, but we'll get this. If it moves just a little bit, you just gotta find those sweet spots. Yeah, that, that's true. And, you know, the thing is, like, we know that wipes are, are going to come out here and there. Like, we know that. We all get it. You know, but the way I look at updates, so you have an update, which is, you know, 318 or 319 or, you know, 3.0, 4.0, like that. And then you have your patches, your, your hot fixes, which is the final number, like the 318.2, the 318.3. You know, I don't expect a full wipe or any type of wipe on the hot fixes and patches. Now, if we're going to do an update where they're, they're I don't know, changing the, the way a planet is, you know, added an ocean or a river, or did like four or five reworks on different ships, added missions or factions, like I could see that on an update itself. You know, on the full number, that 31820, like when it comes out. You know, those types of things. But to sit here and do wipe after wipe after wipe, like, you know, that just really burns you down because it... You know, that reputation just takes so much, so much to, to build up. And once you do, it's such an accomplishment. Like, you're so excited that you got all that rep and that you're getting the good missions and you're making good money because there are a lot of people out there that play the game that play it truly and they play it honestly and they're not trying to, you know, cheat the system. They're not trying to do exploits and all that. They just want to play the game. So when that, those kind of things happen and they decide to wipe because of them, it just hurts the whole community. And all that cheating and exploiting that those people did, they all started back out at zero. So it was kind of a waste. 
Mmm. Boy, that is so good today. All right, let me scoot up just a little bit, see if we can get this thing going just a little bit faster. Now, it's not the Quantanium Rock that I really wanted. I mean, it's only like, I can't sell what that is, 18 or 19, but whatever. It's something. Well, we'll try to work it. I mean, it's only a 4,000 or 4,900. We should be able to crack it. Should be able to. I turned my sensitivity down on my mouse. Yeah, a lot of people are kind of nervous when it comes to mining. They don't really think that they'll be able to do the asteroid belt by themselves, the big rocks by themselves. And I challenge that, guys. I really do. Once you um, once you get your prospector, once you get some upgrades to it, you know, your mining laser, your your modules, you learn how to feather it back and forth. I, I challenge you guys to get out there and, and really try. How's the jank today? Hey, Super, you know, 318.2 came out, and all they did was a soft wipe, so you still kept your money, you still kept your rep, and they, it's running great, man. Everybody jumped on the game last night. The, the servers were packed. There was people everywhere. Everybody was so excited. So excited. You couldn't get in, like, were you busy, or you just couldn't get in at all, or what happened? Yeah, mining is fun. Well, you know, the thing with mining uh, buns is, with you saying that, I'm sure you know, the payout is just phenomenal. And once you really get how to do mining, like you can see it right now, my hands are not on the controls. It's still going. I'm talking. Um, you know, if you get a good setup, like I use the, the Ryger 3s. I use two of them and one Focus 3 module. And for me personally... That works. Now, other people use a different setups, you know, turrets and all that stuff, and that's fine. But for me personally, I like this setup. It works well. Um, it's just a nice, slow grind, as you can tell on the, the, the screen right there. Got stuck in the loading loop. Man, Super, that's crazy, dude. I was able to, to get in and out multiple, multiple times. I was playing with Waldengar and, and uh, another guy in our Discord and, you know, just... Kind of hanging out, chilling. So, yeah, there was people everywhere. I'm not sure what was going on on your end, though. Sorry to hear that, man. Come on, bad boy. He said, it's all good. He'll get on tonight. Oh, yeah. Got to make sure I keep my, <laughs> my work phone going. Got a little bit of a couple packages coming in today that I got to make sure that I, I pay attention to. Yeah, I heated up and lost the momentum I had. Or I moved and lost the momentum, so I'm trying to get that back. You gotta show them into a ship, huh? Now, has does he actually play, or... I don't think I've ever even talked to him. I don't... You know, he comes in the channel every once in a while. Come on, I know we can crack this.
It's been pretty busy the last couple days. Yeah, I understand that, man. This last couple weeks for me, from the getting sick like two or three weeks ago, and then the kids' spring break, and then we finally found out that we're moving, and then we, you know, we got another vehicle. I mean, we've just we got a lot of stuff going on. Just gonna show them around. Well, hey, man, if he needs any help, and any of us are ever on, you know, you know, you can let him know. We'll help him out. She's heating up. Come on, girl. Yeah, it's so crazy. You can sit there and just watch that white bar just slowly move down. And then you're like, oh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Slowly move up. You just got to really hit the spot, you know? And in, in Quantanium mining and asteroids, you know, it's the, the Q type that you want. So you really got to hit the Q spot. <laughs> got to hit the Q spot, baby. But you want the gold? Yeah, I wish that gold was more valuable, but it's just really not, man. Gold is only in the yellow. Come on. Oh, we're finally getting in the green. There it is. There's that special Q spot, baby. Oh, don't go back down. Come on. Don't do it. No, don't go down. Oh, man. We're going to break it. We're going to break it or we're going to blow the whole ship up. It's going. It's going, ladies. It's going, gentlemen. Let me back up just a little bit. There it is. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do an asteroid by yourself. I just proved it. Asteroid mining is just like, you know, doing the, the little meteors on the ground. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Now, this one, like I said, was only like, I don't know, either 14, 16, or 18 percent. I couldn't read the small letters, kind of getting, kind of aging myself just a little bit there. But yeah, so definitely you can break them by yourself. You can do it. Really glad I got those new modules on it last night, though. Easy, easy, easy. Got to really watch your instrument gauges. It's not like, you know, some games where you just go up to an asteroid and start mining the material. You know, this is all about, you know, heating up the asteroid to get the materials. You got to really, really, really be careful. What's going on there, Kyle? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you this morning. Yeah, everybody's slowly waking up, man. Slowly waking up, realizing that it was only a soft wipe last night. Oh, boy. I got so many messages. Oh, you gotta be kidding me.
You want to see my cash? I hardly have any. I'll show you, though. Ah, let me get out of it. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely a soft wipe. Oh, let me back up. We gonna snap it? We gonna sn snap it? Oh man, come on. Come on. It's bouncing us. Oh, we're gonna leave that one alone for a second, let it cool off. Silly little rocks. But yeah, if you look, I still have my reputation. I didn't do a lot because I wasn't really messing around because I was expecting a full wipe. But yeah, man, I'm definitely excited about that. All right. It's still hot. Hey, yo, what's going on there, Sevix? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, you guys should have kept your money and your reputation if you had any. I know a lot of people weren't really playing that much. They were just kind of messing around, but yeah, hey, I'm definitely excited. Yeah, what are we talking about here? I got 218,986. If that's what we're talking about. Your rep was wiped? Really? Did you have any rep? Because I haven't done any... The only thing I did last night when I logged on was put the modules back on my prospector. You made around 2 million running the slam, huh? Oh, man. Bounties and running mercenaries. Hey, I love doing bounties and mercenaries. I'm no good at the, the heavy fighting stuff, but I love doing it, man. Man, these rocks are just not, not wanting me to get anything. Trying to keep it right in that sweet spot, but boy, these rocks are not wanting it today. What's going on there, Bear Grizzly? How you doing, buddy? Our celebrity Bear Grizzly. Oh, okay, yeah, there's a there's a little bit there. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate that, Kyle. You know you didn't have to do that, my guy. Yeah, everybody's looking at the Bear Grizzly now. That's what's going on. Everybody wants their, uh, what's it called? They want their ship made. <laughs> oh, he's at the W word. That poor guy. Okay, there's the sweet spot. Let me back up just a little bit. A little bit more. Good night, this rock. I'm only at 2%. Dang, all the way to zero. That thing's going to blow. Let me back up. Man, I hardly ever have this many problems mining rocks. Just running around outfitting ships. Hey, I tell you what, earlier when I was coming to where I'm at now, I actually ran into a C2, a, you know, a salvageable C2 right beside me. I couldn't believe it, man. Oh. If I had my vulture out, you won it in a dogfight tournament. Awesome. All right, let's see. Can we get this bad boy? For four versus you and one. Awesome, man. 
You gave him their run for their money. You should have done it for pink slips. That's what you should have done. I would have been proud, huh? <laughs> yeah, next time do it for pink slips, man. Oh, look at Bear Grizzly challenging you. Oh, I might lose that one. Good night. Come on, calm down. Oh, that one's going. There it goes. Say goodbye. Oh, just barely. <laughs> Woo! Almost lost that one, too. Man, I'm having no luck cracking these today. I ain't trying to lose it, man. Of course, this one has nothing in it. Yeah, I can't wait to see a, a Razer model. If you guys haven't seen the um, the 3D printed stuff, man, I can't wait to see that one. Okay, this one seems to be a little bit more stable. There we go. Finally going to get one. Wow, man. Good night. I hope one of those saved. About four hours and 20 minutes from now. Give me a little bit more green. There we go. Woo, look at it bounce. Look at it bounce. Whoa, easy. Come on, bad boy. Barely even on it. Barely even on it. Zero percent. You'll be doing some Xeno Threat. Hey, I love Xeno Threat. Love me some Xeno Threat. From a caterpillar last night. Oh, awesome. Come on. Oh, it ain't that bad. Oh, it's going to pop. It's going to pop. Come on. Kaboom. That bad boy go flying. Goodness. I don't know if I'm losing him or not doing it like that. Yeah, Xenothreat is amazing, man. It really is. If you can get a server that's working together on Xenothreat, I love Xenothreat. I'm going to say I don't like it as much as uh, Jump Town, but Xenothreat's fun. Yeah, Jump Town is my go-to, man. If you can get a whole... A whole squad, company, platoon, battalion, whatever you want to call it. Man, there it goes again. Oh, man. Um, yeah, if you can get a whole bunch of people working together on Jump Town, you know, get some ground vehicles for AA protection, get people scouting up above, get people, you know, 
one guy pulling the box and other guys, you know, throwing them into the ships, somebody going and selling them. Man, Jump Town, you can make some money. Oh, yeah. Make some good money on some Jump Town. Okay, we're going to try to crack this little one once again. Only at 5%. We're going to leave it at 5% and, and feather it and see what happens. Yeah, Xenothreat definitely is, for sure. I tell you, if you can get a couple people and some redeemers and men, get some good little small fighters going around, you can really, really wreck some Xeno threat. Only 5% on this bad boy. Good night. Come on. There she goes. Ya boom. We're cracking rocks now, baby. We tried to do this one either. What is Xeno threat? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. You need to, Kyle, go watch some videos on Xeno threat, my guy. Yeah, Xenothreat is awesome. It, it is. It is a good time. You're going to get in some fights on Xenothreat. And here's the problem. Here's the problem on Xenothreat. If you've got people that are not wanting to care about the the mission and, and get it done, you've got, like, pirates out there. So you'll have people that will try to help the the whole threat. It, it, is, it is amazing the amount that you can get in. Now, how many times have I been attacked by players in Xenothreat? As many times I've done it, twice. I mean, it's very, very few times because everybody wants the money. But um, I've done Xenothread a lot with a lot of different groups. And I've had a lot of good time. But most of the time when Xenothread's going on, um, just like Bear Grizzly said, you can make a lot of money from it. So most people want to try to get the mission done. For supply use? Yeah, for sure. Now, where were we at? We were at five last time. Yeah, let's see if I can heat it up on five. Five kind of seems to be the sweet spot for some of these rocks. I don't know why. Maybe not this one, though. Oh, there he goes. Nice and slow. I guess we'll have to bump it up to ten. One click each. Yesterday was your first time going to the business district in Lauraville? Yeah, you know, honestly, I really like Lauraville, to tell you the truth. Lauraville, for, for me, here's the reason I like Lauraville, is it's kind of in the middle, kind of. It's got two mining facilities on each side of it. Um, man, it's close, clo kind of close to Microtech, kind of close to Area 18. Yeah, it's nowhere close to the other side of the map, but... Um, Lauraville, you've got, you know, the New Deal that's got, I don't know, like 95% of the ships in there. Um, I don't know. I mean, trying to get down to where all the armor and stuff is, once you've done it a couple of times, it's not that hard. But some people kind of find it a little confusing. I, I do like Lauraville. I actually, on 318.1, uh, went to Area 18. So 318, I was in um, Orison because I wanted to see how Orison, the, the, you know, getting a out of the planet was and now that they changed that it's great and then 318.1 i went to um area 18 and now i'm just back at loriville i really like loriville i don't know what it is loriville loriville whatever <laughs> uh mm. boy not having coffee in like three weeks man It's like a whole new wake up. Okay, let's get up to 8% there. This one was a really unstable one last time we tried to crack it. So we're just trying to go nice and slow. Trying to hit that Q spot. 
A dirty factory? If he would move there? Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, the business district is fancy, man. It really is. You get up there and you got the big golden statues and, you know, the the the, um, the bus station or train station, whatever you call it. It's nice when you pull up. It is really, really cool there. But then you go downtown and you're like, oh, oh, well, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm really surprised because, like, Orison is, you know, fancy. And then Area 18 and uh, Microtech's kind of the same. And then Loryville is just bleh. The tram is the closest to our reality. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, see this 8%? That's where we're going. We're building slowly on this rock. Slowly. Definitely an unstable rock for sure. I've been in a lot worse, but this one, the last time I tried to boost it, man, it just went up and almost exploded. Might try to go to 9% and see what it hits at. Or 10. We'll hit 10 and then back off of it. Oh, power critical. Come on. Oh, it ain't that bad. Come on, give it to me. Oh, it's still going. There it is. Got boom, baby. All right, let's see what kind of stuff we got. Oh boy, if we can get a couple hundred percents off of this, it'd be really nice. Kind of fill it up a little bit. But I didn't see a whole Q-type asteroid bunk. That one's 652. Don't really care. We want to get the hundred percents knocked out first. Not a thing. We got stuff everywhere. What a mess. There we go. There's a hundred percent. Oh boy. Give me as much as we can take, baby. Not a thing. Oh. Come on, Q-Type. Give me nothing but Quantanium. It said, nope, psych, you ain't getting nothing from us. Let's make a big party event today. Yeah, I mean, definitely, man. Okay. So we're just going to have to pick up the rest of this junk out of these. There's a big one. All right. Yeah, Xeno Threat with a lot of people. Man. Man, Xeno Threat is great. It's not as much Quantanium as I wanted, but it's definitely something, just to get cooking. That's one reason I do like mining. Um, mining, you just have that passive income, because, you know, you come back later after it's done cooking in the forge, and, you know, you go and sell it. It's really nice.
Did I not crack that one? Oh my goodness. Whoops. Fail on my end. Let's see if we can get this bad boy. Now we're working on a time limit. We gotta get this bad boy to crack. Come on. Come on, sweetie pie. Come on. Heat up. Let's go. She's heating up slowly. That's what we want. Nice little slow. Nice consistent. Keep it going, keep it going, and then back off. Let it crack. There we go. I normally don't do that. I normally wouldn't do it, but whatever. We're trying to make some money. Trying to get as much quantanium as we can right now. Speaking of that, let's make sure we're getting 100%. What am I doing? Come on, scanner. Come on, give me something. Not what we're wanting. Barrel, barrel. What are we at? What are we at? Come on. Course, don't care about course. Course. Oh, give me a little bit more. Yeah, whatever. We'll take it just so we can melt some of it. We're not going to get a lot off of it, but every dime helps. Bear Grizzly, I did. I did, man. That's what I'm looking at. Like, I'll show you right now while we're warping to her L2 real quick. Um, you can see my rep right here. It wiped last night, and I still have my rec rep for the certain ones. Um, and then, you know, minus, minus a million. So at 218, you know, I had spent some on my, my ship last night. And, um... But when the wipe happened, I still had like 500,000 credits that I had made previously. So for me personally, I kept everything. But some people are saying that their, their rep was wiped. And I'm kind of wondering if they had actually played and they had rep or not. Because, you know, some people will say, oh, I don't have any rep. Well, you have to do missions. You know, I mean, you know as well as I do. You got to do missions. You got to do bounties. You got you to gotta do stuff to get rep. You're not just going to get rep for, I don't know, mining. For example, like you got to actually, you know, do deliveries and then you'll get delivery rep. You got to do racing. You got to do, you know, cargo running the, the whole nine yards. So for me personally, the little bit that I did play in 318.1, the only thing I had to do when I came in the game was recreate my character. That was it. All right. While I'm flying, I'll be right back.
All right, there we go. I tell you what, Bear Grizzly, we made some some people definitely look at you, my guy. They were looking at you yesterday. When they saw that ship, they were like, oh boy, that looks nice. Nice. So anybody that's watching on replay over on YouTube Live or later on, if you're able to catch our you know replay stuff, if you guys check out this guy right here, check out Bear Grizzly. That is a buddy of ours. And who else did we have come in here earlier while we're flying? Uh, I think it was Super. We had Super come in here. Two great guys. They definitely, um, looks like both of them were streaming some Star Citizen last. So you know what? When you get a chance, go over there and follow their channels. When you see them go live, jump in, talk to them, interact with them, all that stuff. Get them motivated to stream and get you some content. Come on, her L2. Let's go. Oh, there's that silly little timer. I know some people start freaking out as soon as they hear that timer. It's just a game, guys. It's just a game. It'll be okay. If you go boom, you can just go out there and do it again. Don't worry about it. But as you guys can tell, anybody that's new and looking at getting this game and they're nervous about playing it and the stability of it or, you know, they're nervous about, like, PvP and I don't want to do all that work and lose. Like, I've been streaming now for an hour. And now, granted, I am in the Halo belt, which is massive. Millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions of kilometers in this game. Um, I haven't seen a single person. Now, that doesn't mean that it can't happen, okay? Don't, don't take me wrong when I say all this, guys. You can get into a PvP conflict, but does it happen all the time? No. No. Let me see here. There we go. Come on, bad boy. You think I only play it for five minutes? What do you mean, my guy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've only been playing this game for about five and a half minutes. <laughs> That's what I tell people all the time. They say, how long have you been playing, Bronco? I just got it, man. I've only been playing five and a half minutes. Some people get it, some people don't. I have fun with it. Landing gear down. Oh, you bought the Scorpion in game? Which one did you get, though, Kyle? Did you get the heavy fighter or did you get the an Antonaris or however you say it? You needed a ship to pick up people. Are, you, are, you, are we talking about the same ship? The normal one. How do you pick up people in the, the, the Scorpion? Oh, it's always the one on the inside. Goodness. Yeah, but isn't the are we are we still talking about are you what are you talking about when you say pick up people? What does pick up people mean? Because a scorpion, that's a that's a fighter, isn't it? Oh, a gunner seat. So you're okay. So one person. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were talking about like transport. I'm like, um, I'm sorry, my man. <laughs> I don't know about that. Like if I got if I got out of jail. Wow, Kyle. Boy, I tell you, that's still too soon. That's still too soon, my guy. If I got out of jail. <laughs> hey, that's really cool though. So if you've got the regular one, I've got the um Antares or whatever it's called. Man, we could do some damage if we get some gunners. You know, I could warp in and stop them from leaving. And, you know, while they get mad and come after me, you could come right after them. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. I'll land it. I'll land it, guys. Thank 
Havoc's your gunner? Hey, well, if you ever need a backup gunner, I actually really like to do gunning. I think it's great. Um, if anybody ever has a Redeemer, not a Redeemer, Reclaimer, Redeemer, a Redeemer, I love, love, love the Redeemer. Um, if people want to take mine out and they want to fly, I would rather be a gunner all day long. What's going on, Waldengar? How you doing, my guy? What is old Walden doing? You guys check out Waldengar. If you don't know him, good buddy of mine. I've known him for about two minutes, guys. Two minutes. It's so long. He streams some Star Citizen. Stream some no, no, no! Oh my goodness, my ship's gonna explode! This just did not happen. No! Ding on elevators! All that quantanium is gone. Oi! Come on! And what's even worse about this, guys? Oi, I can't get out of it. <laughs> so if I Alt F4 right now, shouldn't it? Yes, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Just exit menu. It should put my ship away, right? Like, like that's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, Alt F4. Ooh, yeah, maybe I should Alt F4 instead of exited menu. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. We're going to go ahead and exit the game altogether. Looking for game. Looking for game. 18.2. I'm okay with it being impounded. As long as it doesn't blow up. That was like almost 20 Quantanium in there. Alright, let's try it again. Let's get back into the game. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Alright, I think... What should we do? 18. So you guys... Okay. That server's full. We'll turn back on Kyle real quick. I would rather lose the gear that I had, because it was all bot gear. And I mean, in-game bot gear, guys. Not, I don't run around in my mining ship inside my, uh, my pledge store gear. So I'd rather lose that than lose that whole ship full of Quantanium. Alright, let's see here. I am in my gear. Okay, alright. Good to see, good to see. My guy's still starving, though. Man, the days of not um, having to eat in this game. Oh, elevator, I'm scared to get in you. Let's see, did it store, did it store? Let's see here. Prospector, where are we? Ooh, looks like it is stored. Nice. Okay. That's what we like to see right there, ladies. Oh, I ain't claiming it. No, no, no. Definitely not claiming it. Where are we going? Hold on. Her L2 is different. Her L2 is different. Uh, there it is. Once you've been going to Arc L1 for years, or uh, years, whoops, a couple of minutes, <laughs> um, going to the different space station refineries, the, the setup, everybody thinks it's the same. I promise you, it is not the same. Okay, it's not the same.
You all live in Orison? Awesome. Awesome. So it's not a lot. It's not the the ideal of what I wanted, but we're going to go with it. 31 hours. Work order accepted. There it is. So there's a, the first little passive bump we're going with. <laughs> Waldengar's like, oh, you changed. Yeah, man. You gotta change it up. Always gotta change it up. Give him his garbage back. Is that nice of me? <laughs> Yeah, we did, Waldengar. I actually went to Loryville. I actually went to Loryville. So, yeah, I left you as well. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, Waldengar, we love you, my guy. It's all right. Don't worry. We'll still come and visit you on your, um, you know, your character of love. Hey, I'm not going to... Hey, Waldengar, I'm not going to tell Bear Grizzly... Or, I should say that backwards. Bear Grizzly, I'm not going to tell Waldengar that you got a Carrick that looks kind of like this right here with all of this fine detail, 3D printed. I'm just saying, Waldengar, you know, if, if you were to talk to somebody that, you know, is in the forest, you know, that, that bear of a man, Grizzly, <laughs> he, he might just talk to you about... One of these little ships that he's got that he 3D printed that's a Carrick. I'm just throwing it out there, big guy. Now, according to Mr. Kyle, it's really slow. It's really slow. I mean, is it really slow when you first get it? Yeah, of course. But you can. You can upgrade it. I'm just saying. You can upgrade it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just teasing you, Waldengar. I'm just teasing, my guy. All right, what are we doing here? Let's go. Let's go to Galleria real quick. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Your skin you have for it. What what am I missing? What part of the conversation did I miss there? Look at that bad boy. Oh, that this looks amazing. I want to get mine out and ride it. I haven't ridden mine in oh man. Forever. Uh oh. He said he's starting yours tonight. Oh man, what are we talking about? What am I meeting? He said he wants a uh and Carrick so bad. Oh, Bear Grizzly. Oh, man. If you guys haven't followed Bear Grizzly, you guys need to go follow him. Oh, oh, oh. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the, yep. You know, I don't... I can buy it. But I don't think I... I don't have an MSR. I don't have the MSR. I think we need to... Uh, Buy that so I could put that executive skin on there. Man. Let's see what we got here. Shop weapons. Well, then I must have it somewhere. 
I'd have to look. I don't know about when I reach. I've been I've been past that for quite some time now. <laughs> Let me see here. D4 A4. What do we got here? Blue ships are gross. Hey. Hey, I love my blue ships, my guy. Good purchase, he says. Good purchase. Let's see here. What kind of um... man? I haven't messed with all this stuff in so long. I should have just brought my grenade launcher out. That's what I should have done. Oh man, how do you not just buy these by the gallons of this stuff? Hopefully, I picked the right thing. Whoops. Ah, eh, we'll buy some more. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it. Kyle's just breaking my heart, guys. He really is. He's breaking my heart. Oh, the beef ones. Ooh, beef is what's for dinner. Oh man, I'm buying all this stuff. He said He said those ugly words that blue is ug Oh man. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, Bear, is that, that's in-game, what you just sent me? Where? Send me the link. Is that in the, the impound? Or where is that at? I mean, we're, look, we're going to, listen, listen, Linda. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. It's in the impound. Look, you guys know. This is... this. We got a problem here, ladies. Is it in the impound or is it in the... Um, the actual, like, subscriber store or where are we at? What's it called, Bear Grizzly? Bear Grizzly, you're driving me crazy. You can't... You can't tease me with it. Oh. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Come on, man. Where are we at? Paints, 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 upgrades, rolls. I got all excited. I don't know what I'm doing now. Game package is under upgrades. It's under other, isn't it? Ship paints. Oh, there's that one. That Kyle, that's it. That 400i one, Kyle. Oh, oh, you guys, why did you tell me to go? Don't don't tell me to go shopping when I'm trying to play games, guys. What are we doing here? Um, I don't even remember what ship we were talking about. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What ship are we talking about? MSR? Mercury, 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 MSR there. Boom. Oh, it didn't do it. Silly website.
Oh, wow. Well, no. No, my guy. I'm just going to get the whole pack. The whole five pack. What are we talking about? I get the yellow and the black one, the black and gold, the white, the stormtrooper. Oh, man. Save up and get the paint and the 400i again. What'd you do? Did you melt it before? What happened, Kyle? Oh, man. We're adding that to the cart. No, oh, man. I can't believe you guys got me on this silly site again. Let me log in. I am not a robot. Traffic lights. I mean, does the pole count? Okay. Submit. Let's go back to... I forget what it was. Upgrades? That is yellow, not gold? Other. Paints. Ship paints. I do like that Meridian. Is that the one you were talking about, Kyle? The Meridian, for the 400i, it's like silver with the black, black tinted windows. Oh man, do you guys, why did you tell me to come look at paints? It's like Fortnite all over again, but for adults. <laughs> hey, come on, you know I'm right. You guys know I'm right. Okay, okay, alright. So, what ship were we just looking at? We were looking at the, the, the Mercury Star Runner. Okay, I did that one. That one's in the cart. And what are we saying? Kyle's on the 400i kick. Let me... So for the 400i, I already have the... Um, like the army green color and the black and blue one. The black and blue one... I really, really like. But I, the Fortuna paint, I think, is ugly. I do like that white and black. White and black one, though. Get Meridian. I love it. See, this five pack. I don't like the five pack because it doesn't show. Okay, so black, black and white. Black wings with white. I've already got the blue one. Yeah, that five pack. I don't really like the five pack. But the five pack comes with the Meridian. I already have the Fortuna. So I wouldn't do that. Let me not look at the five pack anymore. Five pack doesn't look right. I love the black and blue, man. The black and blue to me looks great. I, I can go with the all-black one. The all-black one looks really, really good. Yeah, I like the all-black. That looks amazing. We're going to add that one to cart. And then what was the one that Kyle said to get? Chrome ship and black windshield. The Meridian. There it is. Why is that one... I'm not saying it's expensive, guys. Don't don't take me wrong. But why is it that one like 24 bucks and the other one is like 19 or 10? What's the difference? Why is the Meridian that much? Like what what is Meridian? I don't remember. What's going on with that? Very limited. So, Kyle, do you not have Pretty Vanilla? No, man, there's a pause in this in this stream. If you guys don't know who Pretty Vanilla is, you guys need to go check her out. Good, good buddy of mine. There she is. There's her channel. Everybody check her out next time she goes live. And if you guys are watching this on replay, go and hit follow. 
The link is in the chat there. Go and, and talk to her. There's Wolfo. What's going on, Wolfo? How was the wipe? Did we get our stuff back? Well, let me show you real quick before I get AFK'd out. We're shopping over on the impound. But for myself personally, uh, minus, minus one million. So I'll put my mouse over that. I actually, when the wipe happened last night, I had about 500000 in my in my bank. Okay? And then when the wipe happened, I came back in the game. I still had my, for me, I still had my 500000 So I went and upgraded my, my prospector because I lost all the modules. But more importantly for me personally is the rep. I don't have a lot of rep, but the rep stayed. So apparently it is a soft wipe, you guys, a soft wipe. And everybody's excited about that because any work that they put into the game, guess what? It's still there. Oh, yeah. Always with the shout-out for sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Afternoon for her. Yep. Yeah, she's a she's across the pond. All right, so what, what it looks like, Kyle... What it looks like is that we're going to have to get... Hold on. Woodbear Grizzly sent me. Blackguard paint. Yeah. I'm going to get the whole pack. I'm going to get the, the whole five pack, man. Because we're adding the ship right now. We're adding the ship right now. I, I got a model on my desk. I got a model on my desk. I mean, how do I just not buy the ship altogether? Yes, yes, pretty vanilla. It was a soft wipe indeed. Everybody is super, super excited. A lot of people. The servers were just packed last night. Absolutely packed. It was crazy. I mean, crazy. I'm crazy, Bear Grizzly. I love you, my guy. So I need to... Apparently, Kyle's telling me that he really likes this Meridian paint. You can easily buy the... Yeah, but I can easily buy it on the impound as well. <laughs> I mean... I don't know what you're talking about. And then I can get LTI out. I mean, come on, bye. <laughs> Woo! What are we buying? So apparently, if Kyle responds, I'll give Kyle 60 seconds. If he responds and tells me that he really likes that Meridian paint, I'm going to get two of them. I'm going to send one to Kyle and keep one for myself. But what I'm actually looking at getting is the MSR over on the impound. And then um, we're getting a whole bunch of paints. We're going crazy today. We're going to have some fun with it. But, I mean, Kyle's countdown is, is, is on, guys. I, I don't think that he's saying anything. You're eight. <laughs> Kyle's like, crap, I got 30 seconds. Shut up, Bronco. Hey, yeah, I'm going to get that paint, Kyle. I'm going to send it over to you, buddy. Interested to know that you're suddenly a 100i super fan. Hey, let me tell you something, um, Pretty Vanilla. If you like the 100i's, 300i's, all that stuff... I would highly, highly, highly recommend the 315P. That is my go-to ship on the, the smaller Origin ships. It's got 12 SCU. It's got two under storage stuff. It's really, really, really nice. Did you buy the, the 100i? Where am I at? Now I'm all confused. Okay, yeah, I remember where I'm at. All right, hopefully we don't get thrown out. We don't get thrown out again. Let me see. Um, hopefully all my stuff that I got in the... The 315P, I'm telling you. The 315P is where to go. If you're in the... For one of those ships, the, I love the little, you know, um, whatever it's called. Daily driver ships. I think they're a lot of fun to do little missions and stuff. But I'll, I'll go ahead and deliver it here. I don't know if all my upgrades are going to be on it. I haven't brought it out since last night. But if you're looking at, at messing around with with one of those smaller ships, a lot of people will tell you, you know, get this one, get that one. But if you look at how much the, the 315P can hold, it, it holds quite a bit. And I tell you, I mean, it, it's nice. Now, is it a, a super fighter and can it can it do big cargo runs? And all? No, no, of course not. But just to jump around town, it's it's a great little ship. Come on, where are we at? Urg, urg, urg. Okay, 315P, here it is. Hangar 4. Hangar 4. Hangar 4, Hangar 4, there it is. 
But yeah, like I said, it's it's not a it's not anything major, but if you just want to mess around with it, it is a great little ship. Here is the the 315P. I really, really, really like this ship. It's not huge. It might look big with me running up on it. I do have the blue metallic paint, and something I really like about these little ships is that when you go on the website, if you're looking on the website, if you just want to get it in-game, I completely understand, but when you go to the website with the uh, on the pledge store, they have a, a button that says um, customize, and on the 300 series ships, you can only do that um, with those ships, which I don't know why, okay, I really don't know why, but this little ship is awesome. It really, really is. Really, really is a great little ship. Let me see here. It's all turned on. Yeah, this one, I got the 315 PGT. Okay, it's got the full sunroof moon roof the whole panoramic thing i went ahead and got the blankets and the sheets now all this stuff is all add-ons that you can get on the pledge store website okay so it comes on the ship i got the upgraded guns and engines the whole nine yards the coffee maker everything it's got the upgraded pilot seat here very very awesome little ship for a daily driver I would recommend this out of all the other little 300. Now, of course, not against like the 400i, 600i, none of that. But when you're looking at this ship here, I would recommend this one specifically. It's got a front cargo by a bay. Let me see here. Where is the back cargo bay? When I find the switch. <laughs> oh boy. I always forget where it is. It's somewhere. Where is that little button at? Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Well, anyways, there's another little pod that comes out right around here. And I think I might be hitting... No, I can open my inventory. Anyways. Anyways. But yeah, so the, the 315, I would recommend this one over anything. Yeah, I, I I really, really like this ship a lot. Now, for some... Oh, you know why I can't turn on my helmet flashlight? Because I don't have my helmet on. What a tool. Oh, man. Keep clear. Where is the button? It is somewhere around here. Once you've done it before, you know what the heck you're doing, but... There. There it is. Right on the side. Yeah, so there it is. So you get two different uh, cargo trays that come down. And you can fill this up. So for doing like little tiny missions, you know, little tiny deliveries, I would definitely um, set the last of it to... <laughs> hey, if you guys need some, let me know. I'll give it out. It doesn't matter. But yeah, if you're looking at getting a little ship vanilla, I would recommend this one right here. I really would. Now, yeah, the Nomads, you know, as far as the Nomad goes, you know, you could put a rock miner in it. You could throw a razor on the back of it being silly. Um, you know, you can have fun with the Nomad. Um, but as far as just an extra little ship to have in your hangar, this is a beautiful little ship. Once you can find the, uh, the buttons to make everything go back up. Well, yeah, if you're trying to get speed deliveries done, for sure. Absolutely. If you're trying to go quickly and get things done, yeah, the you just use a, a tractor beam or whatever, a tractor tool, and, and really get going with the um, with the Nomad. The Nomad has that. I, I do really like that for the Nomad. Okay, where, oh, where?
clothes exterior. Yeah, but if you look at this bad boy, I mean, like I said, I got this one. This color, I think, is awesome. I mean, that blue is just a beautiful... And you can go all over the whole galaxy in it. You know, you got the bed. You can bed log. I mean, it's just... I don't know. If you're, if you're looking at something as a starter... <laughs> he jumped, huh? He thought some man would snuck up on him. Wow, that's prison talk. Why would he think it was a man? You should have grabbed him by the ears and just said, Get ready, buddy. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, anyway, so the, the 315 is just a, a really cool ship. I'm glad that you're getting into the, the I-Series, the Origin ships there, Pretty Vanilla. I really am. And I don't know why I'm calling you Pretty Vanilla. Just Piper. Because of my voice. Oh, boy. Do I really need to lower it? Do I need to get the voice changer on? Is that what I need to do? Really mess with them? But, yeah, if you're looking at getting one of these 300 ships, let me know. Kessler Trump. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, we need to get back into the shop, and we need to get that MSR coming. I'm ready for it now. I'm ready for it now. Then I can put the, the executive paint on it. or You know, honestly, I just want to put the black and blue on there. Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, I tell you. Okay, so we're getting... Let's see here. I want this gold, this silver paint, so I'm going to get two of these. Add to cart. There we are. Let's add another one to cart, because I know our buddy Kyle wants one. As long as he uh, gets himself a... a Mer now, Kyle, did you have the Meridian paint at one time? You had it on a different account. Is that what's happening? Because you seem to like it. You need to swap servers? Hey, let's do it. I mean, I'm not doing anything. Let me put my ship away. Yeah, go ahead and pick a server and I'll just join on you, man. You lost it all. Yeah, uh, okay. We can yap about that later. I think I might know if you were causing a little havoc. Let's see. Let's check out the cart. Did I put the MSR in there yet? Okay, so we got two of the, the Meridian paints and the Afterglow paint. That's the one. I, I like the Afterglow paint. And then we got the Mercury Star Runner 5-pack. Now, where is the the Star Runner itself? Come on out. MSR, Mercury. Hornet. Man, there's so many ships. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, there it is. So for for a couple for a couple couple nine dollars, if you got what I'm saying, couple couple nine. Got to talk in. Um, no, I think the whole did the game freeze up. Oh, it did. Hey, it was a good thing we logged off that server, Kyle. Maybe it was going down anyway. So for a couple, couple nine, deuce, deuce, nine, um, I can get the Mercury Star Runner standalone with LTI. I think that's that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and add that. Now, Piper, which one was it? Is Piper still here? Is she uh, still messing with Tom in the bathroom? Oh, man. She's scaring him with my, my wonderful radio voice. Oh, no, I don't think Piper's here. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> you know, we were supposed to be doing a giveaway over on Piper's channel, but guys, she never uh she never jumped up on it. I think she wanted to do a Nomad giveaway on her channel. 
Oh man, I'm gonna have to restart my game altogether. Bad boy just locked up altogether. Oh boy. If the stream goes down, that's why, guys. All right, let's see what happens here. Star Citizen, what are you doing? What happened? Are you jealous that I'm kind of messing around offline? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Unexpected error, all kind of stuff. All right, game should be coming back up now, guys. Let's go ahead and get rid of this... Uh, Morning music that we normally do, some classic rock. T trying to change it up just a little bit. Let's see here. Definitely not. Come on. Where is that drop at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay, now we're back in it. So I think we lost Piper altogether. Tom put her in timeout. That's what's going on. Tom put Piper in timeout, guys. In timeout. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay, so at least we got back in the game. Kyle, did you pick a, a universe yet? I'm going to assume he did. Oh, that and one looks... His name is John C. Woo. Wasn't expecting that one. Who was that? Yeah, Kyle's there. Okay. All right, so I'm coming on... I'm getting on your server now. So while that's happening, guys, let's see here. Let me go get some more coffee. Hey, guys, I haven't had coffee in three weeks, so now I've got back into it. And yummy. Oh, daddy, I love it. I'll be right back.
All right, guys, sorry about that. Sorry, we are back. If you guys are new to my channel, all right, a couple things for you. Make sure you immediately type in exclamation point, enter giveaway. We are doing a giveaway here on the channel. All right, so what we're doing is a, um, a contest giveaway. So we're going to pick three names, guys, three names. And when we pick those three names, each person will get a random flare item from the pledge store. It could be armor, it could be a weapon, um, it could be a plushie, it could be anything from the pledge store. So they are guaranteed going to get something out of there. All right. And then what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to, one, have the game. Okay, they got to have the game. All right, so what they got to do is they got to go into the game. They got to get a crime stat that sends them to prison. And then they got to break out of jail. But they got to break out of jail the right way. All right, what I mean by the right way is by going through the tunnel system. So it's the illegal right way, okay? And I did it yesterday and got all the way to the surface. I could see the stars. My buddy Kyle's helping me out. And then I just barely jumped the wrong I don't know, like I tripped on my shoelace or something. So, <laughs> anyways, I, I was there, guys, but I only had like 2% uh, air left. Kyle tells me that the rover had air in it, and I would have been just fine. Oh, I was so disappointed. But it was really, really fun. It was cool to actually see the whole entire track myself and not just watch somebody do it. Um, I hadn't ever been... I thought I was. Maybe I just watched so many people laying here in my chair. I'm not sure. But it's really, really, really neat. If you guys get a chance, okay, please make sure you practice. Because it's whoever gets out the fastest. They don't have to get into the rover and drive away. They got to get to the surface. And that means get up to the surface, all right? So whoever does that the quickest will win the Cutlass Blue here on the channel. All right, and what's going on there, Havoc? First time chat. I know my buddy Havoc. What's up going? What's going on? How you doing this morning? He said, I'm going to enter that giveaway. I'm going to try my luck at that. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Um, here on the channel, we do a lot of different stuff. For anybody that's watching us over on YouTube, for anybody that is new to the channel and doesn't know what we're all about here, um, I've got two goals on the channel. Okay, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, all of the above, we like to do these two things. Alright, I want to help keep streamers streaming, and what that means is if I can help you, if I can teach you, if I can show you the way, um, if I can make you understand how different things work as far as, um, what's it called? I don't know, maybe you have a software issue. Incompatible software issue. Maybe your hardware isn't up to date. Maybe it's overheating because you got so much stuff going on. Okay, so there's a lot of different things that, you know, streamers go through that really, really, really just want, you know, sometimes they need some help. So that's what we like to do. And the more people that stream, the better. Okay, the more people that stream, the better. You know, if you look at it this way, myself as a streamer, um, all the the Twitch drops that come out. We don't get those. We just don't get those just because we're a streamer. Oh, this is the way. I know that. Okay, we don't get that just because we stream, you know, the games. All right, now, yeah, it would be cool because we're advertising for the companies, but we don't get it. So the more people that stream, the better. It's like Star Citizen, for example. It's free advertisement for them. So more people that stream Star Citizen, the more people that play, the, you know, if that person's not streaming, somebody saw the game, now, you know, they might come to my channel or your channel. So we really like to help people out. We really like to network and meet people from all types of gaming communities and, you know, different parts of the world, all that. And that goes into my second goal that I like to do here on the channel is that keep gamers gaming. Okay, there's a lot of video game haters out there, and you guys all know who they are. Okay, you guys all know who they are. If we can keep people gaming, I mean, gaming is the way. <laughs> it is the way. It is the way of the future. You know, it's helping out a lot of stuff. I mean, from self-driving cars to drones and, you know, planes flying and all that stuff. I mean, AI combat. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happens with video game technology. And a lot, I know a lot of people are like, what are you talking about, Bronco? That, that's all beside the point. If we can keep somebody game, if we can give them a, a community to game with, if we can get them to network and to meet somebody, if I'm playing Star Citizen and you're playing, I don't know, Pokemon, join in the Discord. Type an exclamation point, Godfire, come over to the Discord, let's hang out. You don't have to be playing the same game. I mean, you could be playing Crab Champion, which is a great game. It's only 10 bucks on Steam. Highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But you could be playing that while we're playing our games, and we just all talk and hang out. It's a great community 
to be part of. So please make sure that you remember those two goals is something that I do here personally on my channel and, and helping people out, man. That, that's where it's at. If we can help people out and grow together as a community, I think that's it, man. Time is from the fan code entry to the Ursa keypad. Okay, there you go. Kyle has spoken. Kyle has spoken. Hey, that that's better than him than me giving up some random rules because I have no clue what... I don't even know how to get to the Ursa. I, I got to one part and I was done. One part and I was done. So what we're going to do is go and get our Nomad, I think. Not unless, Kyle, what do you got going on, man? You doing missions, bounties? What's up? You know what I don't think I did? I don't think I grabbed my ammo. <laughs> I didn't. What a noob. Okay, there we go. 20 feet in front of me. Oh my goodness, I was right there. Wow, my guy. Oh man. I can't believe I was so close. So close, but no cigar. Let's see here. Probably Bounty is going to try the Scorpion. Okay. All right, let's go. Well, if they're doing that... I might head over, mess around just a little bit. Come on, bad boy. Yeah, the Scorpius is a really, really fun ship. You know what? That's what I'll do. I will go... I will go over to... Um, Lauraville and get my Scorpius. That's what I'll do. About to blow some stuff up, he says. Oh, boy. Kind of makes me a little nervous. What are they going to blow up? Leave my mining ship there for a little bit, I guess. Doesn't really matter. What's going on there, Ghost Rider? Good morning, buddy. How you doing? Kapow. Yeah, there's that 315P. That is such a sexy little ship. It really is a good-looking ship. And that blue metallic color. Oh, boy. Money well spent on that one. Money well spent. Lorville Spaceport is bugged? Well, we're about to find out. GG! 
Yeah, like I said earlier, if I had to pick between this and the, the 100i series, like I would definitely th pick the 315. I was floating on the tram through the city. Oh, man. Are you sure that was, you know, the server and, and not you? I'm not trying to be mean, just wondering. Because I'm coming down there now. We're going to check it out. Kyle's having the same issues. Oh, boy. Man, did I pick the right server to get on? <laughs> I mean, when I came on the server, there were a lot of people on the server. A lot of people. I mean, I think it was maxed out. But I'm coming down there. We're about to find out what's happening. Now, I wonder, are you guys just having desync issues? You guys in a party together? He's in Orison and having the same issue. Okay. Yeah, it might be the server. If you guys are both having the same issues, yeah, for sure. It was definitely a little windy out here today. <laughs> Can I fly through there? Yeah, I choose not to. It, flying anywhere close to the business district can get you um, can get your ship instantly impounded. So I always fly over it. Because the last couple of times I tried to fly exactly where my ship is pointing right now currently, that's pretty close to the business district. And I tell you what, nope, it was like, psych, give me your ship. Go night night. Come on, baby. I mean, it's giving me a spot to land. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to land and get off this server if you guys are having that many issues. <laughs> warning. 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 Looks like somebody crashed right there. Is that what that is? Oh, yeah. They wanted to get down in there more than I did, apparently. Zynga. There it is. Yeah, we are definitely getting off this server for sure. Orson is invisible? Oh, man. Yeah, let, let me get out of here. Don't want to have any issues with that. The invisible floor? Oh, man. Hey, I would, I would log off, man. I'd log off. You fall through that floor, you know where you're going. Straight into the gas giant. I'm just trying to put my ship away and then I'm logging. I'm getting out of this one. I'll go to an EU server or something.
We're in an EU server? Huh. I normally don't have issues on EU servers. You're going to go back to best? Okay. Yeah, I'm getting out of here for sure. All right, guys, we're going to server hop again. That's one thing about the game is you definitely need to do. You need to pay attention to how the server is playing. If it's playing great quality, you're not having any issues, you should be good. But if you start having issues with desync, if you can't open up your inventory, can't open up doors, um, if the floor is missing, like what Kyle's talking about over in chat over there, make sure you guys really, really pay attention to that. Last thing you want to do is get really locked up into a really good mission or dogfight, and then boom, psych. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You're going to join on me? We'll see what happens. She's loading. All we can do is let her load. What's going on there, Smokes? How you doing, buddy? You, you Smokes, did you see they did the uh, 318.2 soft wipe last night? Did you actually get into the game at all? Nice to see you too, man. I tell you, I've been so busy, and you guys... You guys definitely got to hang in there with me. Yeah, soft wipe means that basically you got to keep, if you were playing during 318.1, you got to keep your money and you got to keep your uh, your reputation, which was what was supposed to happen in the whole, you know, 318.1 when it came out. They were supposed to soft wipe it. You know, everybody knew that 318 was going to be a full wipe and then 318.1 came out and they wiped and then they said they were going to do it again and everybody got mad. So, um... Yeah, they only did a soft wipe. Everybody's really, really, really happy about that. Really happy. I know last night when it launched, um, I was like, oh, here we go. Time to start doing the grind on rep again. And then all of a sudden I log in and I see my money and I see my rep and I'm like, oh, lovely. <laughs> you know, I mean, I was just like, oh, you know what, ghost? Come on. Oh, man. The, the grandpa joke's coming from him. You got to love that guy. For sure. For sure. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. No, single ply, definitely. You don't want to be tasting the chocolate factory. No, we need double, triple, quadruple. Man. Woo. Anyways. Yeah, but Smokes, definitely for sure, man. If you were playing during 318.1, you are set to go. Set to go. Better than using sandpaper. Ouchie. No, I don't want no sandpaper at all. Look at that. What's that, like Detroit? Man. Look at that. Uh, throwing all the nasty stuff right into the whatever that's down there. You have not played yet today? Oh, okay. Now, some people are saying that they... Um, you just made half a million. You're grinding for the Hurricane. Oh, I... That's one ship I don't... Am I going the right way? What am I doing? That's one ship I don't think I've flown is the Hurricane. No, I, now I have no clue. There we are. Okay. Verzino, awesome, awesome. What did I even come over here for? Nomad, Scorpion, Scorpion. We're going to get the Scorpion out. What color should we use on the Scorpion? How are you making money, he says. Let us know the trick. Let us know the trick, Bear Grizzly. This flies around and around and around. Actually, the Hurricane's a really fun ship. It's kind of like the um, the Arrow. Really, really fun ship. Good show, too. Well, it used to be. I don't know if it is. Is the Arrow even on? Do we got any Felicity fans out there? Because I know I love me some Felicity. Oh, boy. Woo! Man. Everybody's like, what is he talking about? The Arrow? Come on, young bucks. That show ain't that old. There we go. Bear Grizzly says he's a pirate. Oh, you guys better watch out. Bear Grizzly's coming after you. That's how he makes his money. He gets his laser guns going. Woo! 
and nobody's like him. Wow, man, do we need to do we need to get some spectator stuff going on? I mean, Bear Grizzly is. I think I see. I hear a challenge coming up, Kyle. <clears throat> oh man, has anyone tried salvaging it? You know, I haven't. Um, with 318.2, but I will tell you, I went mining this morning, and as I'm looking for a Quantanium, I run right into a completely... Now, it was a derelict ship, of course, but it was a C2 right in the middle of the asteroid belt, so I am very, very happy to see the salvage is out there. It definitely was out there. I was really happy about that. Because, you know, if you're not seeing salvage, you can't really do salvaging. And 318.1, for me personally, I was having an issue finding salvage. Now, when 318 came out, I was finding salvage everywhere, obviously. But when point one came out, it was just, oh, man. It's like they turned it off. At times permitted. Oh, Kyle. Kyle, I think old Bear Grizzly might make you fight for that thing. <laughs> he says that's what he needs to fine-tone his skills. All right, where are we going? We're going to call down our scorpion. Get that bad boy painted. All the way down at the bottom. Delivery. I'm going to sit here and wait in the menu. Mm -mm. Man, man, oh man. So glad for soft wipe. So glad I continued to play too. That, that was the key. Scorpius, we don't want to retrieve it. Don't want to retrieve it. We want to paint it up first. Oh, buddy. Wrong one? Wrong one. Let's see here. Which one should we do, guys? Oh, man, I can't really see it. Should we do the... Let's see here. The avalanche? Or the blight? That green and... What's that? Green and white? Why is it so sparkly? Man. So we got, I think it's green and white. And then we got Shock Force, the yellow. Oh, man. Is that Bumblebee? There we go. Maybe we can see that color right there. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Then we got the Storm Cloud. I can't really tell. What, what is Storm Cloud? Is that like a gray color? What else? And we got Sunburn. White and orange? I think it's white and orange. Which one should we do? I don't know. I really like the avalanche, the white and black. It's kind of like the stormtrooper look. Yeah, I'm going to go with the white and black. Not unless you guys say, let's get a different one. Avalanche? Okay, well, there you go. One person spoke up, so we're going to go with avalanche. <laughs> that is what it is. What's going on there, Tisra? How are you doing? Tisra, from what I hear from random people out there, is that they're supposed to be doing a... Um... I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> they're supposed to be doing another open beta for... Come on. Boy, I, I guess I haven't had coffee enough. Come on. Diablo 4. There it is. That's what I hear now. It's just rumor. I haven't read it. You know, don't quote me all that stuff. I was just talking with some guys this morning, and they were saying, oh, yeah, there's another open beta coming. So I, I don't know, open test, whatever. But, um, yeah, definitely. I think I... I'm not sure. I think we got everybody taken out. I think we got everybody that won. Maybe... You know, I'm going to I'm gonna have to start writing down a list. We do so many winners when we do our giveaways. I don't know if we've got everybody taken care of or not. And I definitely don't want to be like that. I want everybody to get what they won immediately and are as fast as we can. You know, on Blizzard, the, the problem with Blizzard, guys, and Blizzard, you guys have to fix this. If anybody wants to clip this, go right ahead. 
On Steam, when you become friends with somebody, I can give them something right now. Boom. And I understand, you know, account security and all that stuff. I, I get that. I really do. But Blizzard makes it to where it's three days. Three days is rough. It really is. What's going on there, Master Dario? Man, talk about a name I haven't seen in forever. What's going on, my guy? How you doing, man? Coming in with the Charizard stuff. <laughs> Open inner pilot seat. There we go. Get on. You know you want to enter it. Let's go. Get on up there. Oh, lag. Here we go. <laughs> it's like, I'm actually in the pilot seat. It's like, I don't want to fly it. Don't make me fly it. Oh, man. On the Cuddy Death Machine? No, I don't. I don't. I don't have any info on it at all. What's it doing now? I guess that's the real question. Yeah, <laughs> was in the seat the whole time. Yeah, it really is, Tisra. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was getting my legs going in the pilot seat for sure. Yeah, there's that stormtrooper, white and black. Kubazow. With those ugly feet up. Wow. There she is. Talk about just a beautiful ship. Now, you know, when we're going to go all white and black, they should have taken off that orange. I... Man, just leave it alone. They didn't have to add the orange at all. Now, some people, when they get this ship... Okay, now here's something to think about, guys. When you get this ship, if you get it in game, if you get it in the store, if you get it over on the impound or any of the other vehicle ship sales websites, please remember that your turret, your extra ability on like this ship, for example, the NRS or however you say it, um, you can't use it you have to have someone else in the ship with you. Okay. Where's Red Dead? Where's RTD2? Oh, I, all I saw was Red Dead. I'm like, I would jump on Red Dead right now. Don't do that. <laughs> blue highlight would be okay. Yeah, for sure. The blue, man. Oh, speaking smokes right from my heart. Right from my heart, my guy. For sure. But yeah, so this ship is definitely a cool ship. I really, really like this ship. I think it's a fun ship. Um,. But as far as using, you know, the main ability of this ship, it's really, really hard because I, I can't do it if I don't have somebody. Now, if I had the Mantis, which looks like a very, very small Enterprise from, you know, Star Trek, you know, it's got the nacelles on the side. Apparently, the, um, the pilot could control that. And what I'm talking about is control it is he's got... Um, how do I explain this for people that's never played the game? It's kind of like an EMP pulse, all right? It'll stop you from warping away. So this ship specifically has that ability, but you can only use that ability as if you have somebody in that seat with you. So that's the hard thing about this ship, is it's a great fighter, but it's secondary ability, or, or Eclipse. Yeah, yeah, okay, there you go. There you go, for sure. But yeah, this is a definitely a fun little ship to fly. Button pressing simulator. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure about you guys, but it seems like the server is definitely running okay. Look at those guns. And that's just that's just the vanilla stock guns that come with it. Just brrr, look at that. Non-stop. Oh my goodness. Just absolutely beautiful. I love it. And then what do we got? We got missiles on here. We got some Tempest. Uh, they're okay. They're not the best. But it's something. 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 
Now, one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go and get into a dogfight right now in this ship. I'm kind of just showing it to you guys because I think Kyle and Havoc, they are in the um, the other version. I don't think it has a, a secondary name. I think it's just called the Scorpius, but it actually has a turret on the top of it. Um, I don't have that one. I thought I had bought it, but I guess I did not. I guess we're going to have to change that. But, yeah, definitely, if we could get somebody else in the gun... Um, yeah, I had a QT interdiction yesterday, and I want, they wanted to rob you. It might have been Bear Grizzly. Yeah, you got to watch out for that guy. I hear about that guy. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, well, you know, here, here's the thing with the QT interdiction. A lot of people will confuse that for being a player. Um, and a lot of times the NPCs can interdict you, pull you out, and it's just an NPC randomly out there in the middle of nowhere. Okay. That does happen. I have had it happen before, and um, they'll they'll come on the radio and they'll tell you to pull over. They're gonna steal your cargo. I don't know if you guys have ever had that happen. It's kind of funny, but um, yeah, definitely. Come on, baby. Well, it's not wanting to. We'll just fly down there. It's fine. Bad boy's fast enough. Oh, Tisra sees her north. That's her. That's her neighbor right there. Isn't that right, Kyle? <laughs> Kyle's like, I'm going to hurt you, Bronco. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, just full throttle until you can QT out for sure. For sure. That That's most of the time, that's the best way to do it. Oh, phone call. 360 the cam. That's it, baby. That's it. That's the white and black. Unfortunately, it's got that orange on there because I, I love to call it the Stormtrooper paint. You know, mixed in. It's like they had a little bit of a conflict of interest. You know, you got the X-Wing fighter, the Republic Stormtrooper variation. I really, really love the paint. I mean, I've got all the paint. Well, I don't know if I got all the paints. I got the, the five-pack or whatever it came with when it first came out. Um, but yeah, so I really like the white and black. Of course, there's no blue as of right now, but you let them do it, and it's coming, baby. It's coming. Yeah, but I'd love to see the one you have, Kyle, for sure. I'd love to see... Is that turret right there in that blue dot? Like, where is it? Uh, over there? Like, right in the middle behind the cockpit? Is that where the turret's at? I really don't know. I'd love to park them side by side and see if that's really the only visual difference. All right, where is old landing bay? That's the only visual difference? Okay. Awesome. See, now, a lot of people think... If you look at the way this ship looks, let me stop right here. If you look at the way this ship looks, these wings right here, to the side, all right, to the side, think about the Aurora. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't really like the Aurora, blah, 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 the Aurora sucks. It's a starter ship, guys. It's a starter ship. Nobody cares. Okay, think about this. If the Aurora did this right here, man, I mean, come on. It's got the, the four wings. It could do it. I don't know if that's a plan in the future. I've never read anything about it, but that would be so neat. I think the Aurora would come alive if it did that feature right there. Tell me I'm wrong. Alt-K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alt-K. I know. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I think the Aurora should do it. A P-52, and you have no clue how to use it. The P-52 Merlin? Is that what we're talking about? Am I missing it? <laughs> the P-52 Merlin, if that's what you're saying, that is a snub-nosed fighter. It's basically just a little planetary ship. Um, and or, if you ever get a constellation, uh, some of the constellations you can put that ship underneath it but normally when you get a constellation you um yeah it does not have a, a qt in it that's right 
So you can use it as a little racing ship. You can get it all souped up and use it as a racing ship. That's what a lot of people do with the P-52 because it is a, it's not the fastest, but it's, it's pretty fun. Man, it's so beautiful. I love the Scorpion. <laughs> He's got ads. Oh, man, those silly ads. Help and pay for the channel one ad at a time. Yeah, you guys got those ads, and I, I tell you, I know I know. just like in the 80s and 90s, you know, ads on TVs are really, really crazy, and everybody hated them. It's a commercial on every channel. I get it. But I tell you what, that's what pays for the channel. That's what helps us do all the giveaways and, and keep the content up and fresh and all that stuff, and we're able to stream. So, sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, there it is. So the, the P-52 is is basically a snub-nosed fighter that goes into the Constellation. It does not have QT, which I'm sure you already know. Um, so if you do have one and you don't have a Constellation, normally when you get a Constellation, you get the P-52 with it anyways. So you're kind of wondering, like, why in the world? I'm not sure how you got it. If you got it by... Um, if you got it by watching... Or not by watching. If you got it by a referral, um, you know, with that whole... Uh, ship thing that they did just now awesome it comes with LTI you could upgrade that L LTI I think on something else uh, you got to buy a referral um, very very cool so basically you got a free LTI token if I'm not mistaken okay I don't know if you can do that with the referral bonus stuff that might come from you know finding somebody to talk to about it but you can't melt it but can you upgrade it onto something else you can't CCU it. There you go. Okay, thank you very much, Mo. That is very, very awesome to know. So basically, for recruiting you know, somebody during that Free Fly event, you got a free LTI token. So for example, if you went and got the Scorpius and it only had six-month insurance, you could take that um, P-52 and melt, not melt it, you could CCU it onto this ship, Okay. Yeah, you can't melt it, but I'm pretty sure you can um, transfer it. Transfer the CCU part of it. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I really have no clue. What ships can carry it? The Constellation. Constellation Andromeda, Constellation Tequila, I mean, whatever. There's, there's a couple Constellations that carry it. And you can actually take it and put it inside of a ship like, I don't know, the Carrick, for example. You know, um, what else do we got? The the, the Hercules. 100% you can CCU from it. There we go. Andromeda and Phoenix. There you go. C2, M2, A2, C2. All those two, the Hercules variants. There you go. So you can do stuff with it, and you can race with it. So if you want to get into racing, you can actually make some really good money in racing in the game. Okay, you really can. Yeah, Smokes, we got you, babe. We got you. <laughs> Okay, what were we doing? I completely forgot. <laughs> Got me riding around in the Scorpion. I love the Scorpius. Scorpion, Scorpion. We're just hanging out, uh, Dario. Really, that's all we're doing, man. We we were ha really, really happy about the soft wipe. Um, that is very awesome. You're going to need a minute? Okay, awesome. But yeah, so we're... Really excited about the soft wipe that happened. Um, you know, yeah, some people are, you know, are wipe anyway. But, you know, to keep your reputation, in my opinion, that's huge. Money, you can get make, make money back. You can make your, you get buy your parts back, all that stuff. But reputation can be a huge, huge grind. So I'm really glad to keep that. Um, but anyways... 
Yeah, Blue Saber, that's what I was trying to tell a lot of people. You know, if you look at it, a lot of times they, um, they'll they say that there's going to be a wipe coming or there's not. Like if you look at, what was it, 318.1, they said when 318.1 comes out, there's not going to be a wipe. You can actually go through and read the old notes that said there was not going to be one. And then, you know, some things happen with <laughs> exploits. <coughs> exploits. Um, so don't do that, you guys. So some things happened where they felt the need to wipe. And they did. Okay, so they went from we're not going to wipe to we are going to wipe. So they did the wipe. All right, so everybody was like, grr. So then they said in the notes that we're going to wipe on 318.1. We're going to wipe on 318.2. And you know what? If you like to just play Star Citizen, and yeah, I know the wipes back-to-back -back really, really are unfortunate. But if you look at it this way, they changed their mind quite a bit. So, I don't know. It's hard to tell somebody to play, but yeah. Like, that's what I was I was just I was playing a little bit here and there and a little bit not because I was like, man, if they're going to wipe, this kind of sucks. But I really like the game, but, you know. So, um, yeah, I agree. If, I, if they would have been a little bit more transparent, you know, hey, we're checking to see if it works. We're checking to see if people are still exploiting. And if it's not, then we'll just do a soft wipe. If they would have told people that, there would have been so many more people playing during 318.1. Like last night when 318.2 came out, all oh, the servers were packed. Oh, were they ever packed? There was people everywhere. There was like 15, 20 people in all these lines. It was nuts. Some of the computers you couldn't even get to. Man. But I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see Star Citizen picking up like that. Oh, Tisra. Tisra laughing at us. All us addicts. <laughs> Oh, man, all of us addicts. You're right, Tisra. I don't even know. What were we going to do? Just in here yapping away. Hmm. Yeah, completely lost. I guess we'll bring back out the... Uh... Don't really want to bring out the Nomad. Mess around with a couple little deliveries while we wait on Kyle and... Yeah, I'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, Havoc to come back. I guess Havoc had some internet problems. Now, something I have noticed, um, somebody brought it up to me. You rented a rock so you could do something, 12K, rent, and return 57K. There you go, man. Awesome. What was that? Nine? Man. Okay, so we got ammo on us. We got some stuff. We'll go and try to mess around with a little delivery mission, see if we get some money built up. Keep continuing to build up our rep. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you know, just raw, that's what I'm saying. I think that's really, um, I think they like to do that every once in a while. Like, yeah, it's going to be bad, and then surprise, it's not so bad, and then everybody's in love with them all over again. Yeah, that's right. Oh, boy. Looks like I got a phone call. I'm going to have to answer this, guys. I'm sorry. Last minute. Be right back.
All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. I am sorry. I am so sorry. Sometimes, as most of the people that have been on our channel know, sometimes I will get a business call that I cannot get away from, and I'm trying to get you guys to get as many tickets as possible in the giveaway. So when I keep it up, when I keep the game up, when I keep the stream up, you guys are collecting tickets for the giveaway. So just have some patience. I'm really sorry about that. That doesn't happen too much. But anyway... So what do we got? Long, yeah, long phone call for sure. Sorry about that, Mo. If you're still out there, Kyle definitely working up, checking up on me. Yes, definitely appreciate that. All right, let's see, Kyle. Did you and uh, Havoc ever get back in the game? Are you guys still there? Well, I wasn't gone long enough to. Um, what's it called? AFK out of the game. There you go. Let's go ahead and get up into space. Oh, boy. All terms not loading displays for me. Really? Now, I will tell you with the terminals, um, something I've noticed since last night, um, Waldengar brought it up to me, and at first I didn't notice it, and it might have just been that first time, but um, this morning, if you go back and watch this on replay, every time I've tried to uh, bring out a ship, it's actually taken quite a few minutes to load, so I don't know what's going with it, and I say a few minutes, not a couple minutes, maybe 30 or 40 seconds, it'll say, you know ship is in you know whatever but it doesn't actually say it on the screen it, you just audio you just heard it say um you've been server hopping i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you he's considering upgrading his prospector for a mole now here let me tell you about that i mean saber do you have you guys ever used a mole have you guys ever used a mole at all? Do you know anything about it? Let me see here. Yeah, he is always always gets in game, wants to teach new players. Oh, okay. Well, I, I tell you, the, the problem that I I see a lot of people, and I tried it out myself with the mole um, a long time ago, and what ends up happening is a lot of people with a prospector, they're like, oh, man, yeah, the prospector doesn't hold a lot, and, you know, it's blah, 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 and it really doesn't, but the problem that you're going to run into with the mole is if you don't have, oh, man, is it an ad break? Oh, boy. Those ads got you every time, don't they? Let's see here. What was we doing? Contact manager. Accepted. Where do we got to go? On Hurston Hadley. We got to find Hadley. Such a beautiful name, Hadley. Where, oh, where? There. There it is. Awesome. Kazow. Quantum drive activated. Oh boy. Gonna have to start again. I actually stopped. As soon as you said it, I was like, nope, done. Uh, the problem that I had with the Prospector and Mole crossover is the same thing a lot of people say. All right, yes, the, the Mole does carry more. Yeah, we all we all get that. But the problem with it is what you're gonna have to do is 
is the one really annoying thing that the pilot doesn't control the the turret so if you don't have somebody to fly with you then what do you got to do you got to get out and you got to do it if you're just doing regular stuff all day long great but as soon as you get into quantanium you know you got that timer you know yeah you can hold more but it's really just not efficient enough you know, when you're in that prospector, you know, you control the mining laser and you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But with the mole, you're in and out, in and out. And it's just, it's kind of like the, the reclaimer. Now, if you have a team, okay, if you've got, you know, what is it, two or three people on the turrets. If you've got somebody out there scouting, it works out amazing. It really, really does. I think it's a great switch. If you've got people to play with, if you're just looking for that solo gameplay, um, man... If you play solo a lot, or if you play with people that don't want to do mining and you do, you know, then you're kind of restricted to what you can do as far as mining goes. Now, have I done mining in moles before? Yes. I've been in a, a, a group that had five moles out. They had four people uh, running out, and they were in Gladius, and I think they were like two, two Gladius, two arrows, and everybody was going out looking, and it worked out really, really well. We had a lot of people in turrets. We had a lot of people flying and going together. But when you're doing it by yourself, now teaching somebody, if you're talking about teaching somebody and helping out in Star Citizen, great idea because that would stop them or help them decide whether they want to get into getting a mole or not or why they should get a prospector or not. Um, that, yeah, that's really up to you guys. But I, I'd really say if you guys are going to be playing, you know, just the two of you, you know, that's not bad. But if he plays a lot of the time by himself, I, you know, I'd kind of look into that and kind of do some research for sure. I mean, the mole is a great ship, don't get me wrong. Okay. Boy, I love coming down here at nighttime. Oh, it helps me out. Nice and slow, baby. Nice and slow. can't buy anything huh that is crazy man well I'll tell you one thing when I land down here and pick up this package it'll it'll tell me if I can pick up the package or not <laughs> I've lost where the package is there it is Boy, this wind is just crazy right now. What do you got? You've been doing it as a team. Yeah, it, like I said, if you got a team that can run it, great. Great idea. Great choice. You can, you know, it can make a lot. Um, if you got multiple people you know, out there scouting or, or whatever. It, it is really good. I, I do like the mole. I just wish that they would, you know, give the pilot a turret, you know, a mining turret. I think that that would be really cool. So he's not just sitting there relying on you guys to do it. Yeah, I understand when you get there, you can, you know, get out and get into a seat. I, I get all that. Oh, the, yeah. The DS, exactly. 100% exactly. I... Man, yes, sir. I agree. A lot of people are like, oh, the DS is amazing. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me about that in 30 days, how much you love that DS compared to the regular rock. All right, let's see here. We got some loot boxes up here. Let's see what we got. Anything good? Anything good? Yes, there we go. Let's start getting some free stuff. Flares. I don't care about flares, packs, food. There's our food. Uh, I don't really care about the jacket. Lame. Give me another loot box. Come on, baby. Anything? Anything? Any more loot boxes? Oh, there's one. This is one reason I really, really like doing deliveries, guys. A lot of problems that you know people run into is like, oh, man, I don't have any food. I don't know where to go. I don't have a multi-tool. If you want to do something really peaceful, um, go and do deliveries. And you might wonder, like, what am I talking about? If you're sitting here doing these deliveries, um, you get a lot of food. 
okay? And you get a lot of multi-tools, and you can start throwing them everywhere. You can put them in ships. You can put them all over the place. It's really, really profitable as far as, you know, resources go. Yeah, for sure, Blue Saber. It's the same thing in the Reclaimer. You know, if you got people running in the Reclaimer, the Reclaimer is great for that same purpose. You know, if you've got multiple people, heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. What do we got? It's um, a snuggle stick, huh? What is a snuggle stick? All I want is the food. Give me the food, baby. Some berries, all that loot stuff. I don't care about all that. Okay, that's good. Good to go, good to go. I don't think there's any other loot boxes that are in this one. I don't see any red loot boxes. Come on, give me a red one, baby. What time are we at? 11? Okay. Grab the box. Let's go. Bear Grizzly coming in with the GG. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the thing with buying it, like if you're trying to buy it and, and have it permanently and all that stuff, you know, you can do that. Um, but, I mean, you can always earn it in-game as well. But in, in my opinion, with the Reclaimer, until they fix that ship, okay, until they fix it, I would say, in my personal opinion, okay, my personal opinion, guys, is don't buy it, do not buy it with real money at all. Until that ship is a little bit more polished. And what I mean by polished is just like the um, the Mole. The Mole is a polished ship. It works great. The Reclaimer is ugh, a lot of issues. I have the Reclaimer. If you guys ever want to test it out before you spend your hard-earned money, let me know. I'll bring it in the game. You can go and fly it. You can see what issues it has and see if you want to personally deal with that. Okay, I got to go to that planet. All right. I would rather help you guys, you know, test the ship out. He's a big fan of Drake. Okay, yeah, a lot. Hey, you know, Drake is such a meme. A lot of people don't like Drake or Orison or whatever. I mean, there's so many. There's only so many companies out there to hate on. But I actually do. I like Drake a little bit. And I'm talking about the ship manufacturer and Star Citizen, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I am so thirsty today. Yeah, there's a lot of issues with that Reclaimer. When they finally get it ironed out and it's working how it's supposed to be working, man, that's going to be a great ship to have. That was one of the reasons I went ahead and got it. Okay. Come on, baby. There it is. OM4. <laughs> oh, my guy. Oh, there he goes. Go night night. Come on. Wake back up. It'll be okay. We're still here. We're still here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Crud. Okay. Did we... Oh, it's still saying obstructed. Boy, I love that. It says go to OM4. Can't go to OM4. You go to OM4. You're still obstructed. OM6. Here we go. Let's try to get to OM6. Where are we at? Orbital marker 6. There it is, right there. Okay. 
Man, that's such a long flight. Let's go. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, Andreas, I don't know about that, my guy. Come on. Okay, I guess the old ship doesn't want to do it, so we'll turn it off. Operational, come on. Yeah, we might have to give it an old break. Now we're not able to warp to this place. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, they're they're working. I mean, it's the the normal stuff that you're gonna run into. You know, the normal like the jump points or blah or when you go to spawn in a ship, it's a little laggy. But I mean, that's not really anything that's that's new. You know, and if you know the normal stuff, unplug it from the wall and plug your battery back in. Like, see, my quantum drive wasn't working just there. I turned the ship off, turned it back on. I mean, it's such a meme. I tell you what, it ought to be called the cell phone. But, I mean, seriously, it, it's working. It's just you got to mess around with it for a minute. And, I mean, is that server lag? Is that, you know, desync? I mean, I'm not really sure, but... I mean, there we go. I mean, last night I was actually not having any issues at all. Oddly enough, right after the the update, um, I was it was running really good for me. So I'm not sure, you know. I know there's not that many people playing right now. No, one thing, I'm going to have to get my guy to get some food for sure. He's a little bit hungry. A little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty, baby. Really? See, you know what's crazy about that is, uh, Andros, is the the amount of people that we were seeing on the server last night that we were on. Um, there was a lot of people, and there was people running around all over the place. You couldn't even get a computer terminal. There were so many people just everywhere. You couldn't spawn... I, I wonder what, what server were you on? Because like I said, I was playing... And I know like Kyle and everybody, they were playing as well. They were in the game. Did you guys try to server hop or anything? Because as you can see right now, I mean, I'm, I'm flying just like I was last night. Pew pew, pew pew. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said last night, I I didn't have any issues at all. And then obviously today, you know, with with everybody being at work or school or whatnot. But I mean, yeah, I wasn't having any issues. Engines inactive. All right, before I get out there and start really upsetting my guy. I'll put that back on. Local. Get some of this food off of us. We don't need to have it all on us for sure. Got med pins on me. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, 
Yeah, as you can see, there's no, like, desync. You can actually see the food he's pulling out of the bag. You know, sometimes when there's issues on the server, you won't see that kind of stuff at all. You know, so I'm, I'm really not sure what kind of issues everybody was having last night. It's kind of unfortunate. New update comes out. Boy, you're ready to play. I know I am. Oh, maybe that's what's going on. Let me hit resume over there. And then replay. Looking up at the, the wonderful dust in the air there. Okay. My guy's good to go. Let's go ahead and get this bottle out of my hands. Throw it in the local. <laughs> they can have it. All right. Grab the old wonderful box to go. Hopefully they won't have any issues delivering the box. Oh, not that's not what I meant to hit. Drop off. There we are. Place. Let's see. Contract complete. There you go, guys. I mean, like, you guys are seeing it right there. Awarded. The, the money was there. There was no lag. So I don't know what's going on with some people. Let's see. Do we have anything good here? Noise. Yeah, definitely noise. <laughs> Sell. All right, let's see. Looks like this box is already picked. Oh, somebody's been here recently. Oh, somebody's getting the loot boxes. Uh-oh. I'm going to come barreling down on them. What is This one's empty, too? Oh, he took everything. Wow. Man, don't leave anything for the rest of us, my guy. <laughs> oh, boy. At least I got my 3,000 credits, but I mean, wow, my guy. He wanted it all, didn't he? Trying to see if there's any other little secret compartments. Man. Where is this at? Uh, it's in Hurston at Magda or Magdo or whatever it's called. One of the landing sites down there. Whee! But, as long as I can do this without getting destroyed like I did last time. You can go into each of these little buildings and look for boxes. Now, this is what this is what I enjoy to do. All right, some people will do this as well. They'll go to every single area. All right, every single area and loot every single box. And hey, that's okay. That's part of the game. Not mad at them because I do the same thing. Try to see if you can open up anything, get any loot anywhere. You never know what's changed on each and every update. Well, okay, nothing in here. We all loot goblins, that's right. Hey, man, when you don't want to buy stuff, I mean, I agree, go for it. That's the key. I mean, you can get so much stuff. Guns, food, ammo. There's stuff everywhere. A lot of people would say to me, they're like, I don't know how you sit there and do delivery missions all day. I don't know. I don't know how you buy food all day. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> now, do I still do it? Yeah, of course. Whatever. Oh, red box, red box. Come on. Let me see what we got. 
Look at that. Five helmets, guys. Five. Five helmets and some purple arms. Ugh, man. Should I wear that because it's, you know, like Twitch? Is that what I should do? Ugh. Well, looks like we might be coming back over here. So we got anything else? Anything else at all? No. Oh, there's a box there. What do we got? What do we got? I got some more water drinks. I don't know what that is. A chocolate bar. Oh, yeah. I know how you like your chocolate. Hmm. Another nutrition bar. Okay, yeah, there we go. Leave stuff for everybody else. Hopefully she has decent internet. Oh, my God. Oh, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Well, hey, you be safe out there in the good old state of Wyoming. Okay. Now we got to go empty some of this stuff. Maybe bring the ship a little bit closer. Yeah, a lot of people don't like running around where you can see your character in the game. I absolutely love it. I gotta see my character, man. Gotta see it. Well, I don't know why that keeps pausing over there. Alright, we are in the ship. Vehicle, there we go. Take all that out of there. Keep one. One drink. Let me see. Take off the arms. And his name is John C. What's going on, Ultimate Zeus? How you doing, buddy? You know, Ultimate Zeus, we I don't think we've ever have we ever got to play a game together. <laughs> like, what are we doing, man? What do we do? We gotta get some games in together. Ultimate Zeus has won like, I don't know, how many things on the channel, and I don't think we've ever played a single game together. That's okay, it's not a requirement, guys. Don't let me fool you. But yeah, I don't think we've ever played one single game together. Even Smokes. Now, Smokes is a little bit different. I think I have seen Smokes in-game. Ultimate Zeus, my memory, buddy. You're right. You're absolutely right. I am so sorry. You were playing with me at Super. Man, don't, don't take any offense. I still love you, guy. I still do. <laughs> oh, man. You are absolutely 100%. You're right. Man. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe it. You are so right, dude. I can't believe that. Yeah, you got to watch playing with me and Super. We'll get you in trouble. We'll get you in trouble for sure. Did I already go in this one? Okay. There you go. We got them ugly arms on. We can go sell them bad boys. All three helmets. Yes, sir. When is the giveaway? Um, we're doing that. Uh, what is today's date? The 21st. And I've been so busy lately. I'm trying to stream as much as I can. But we're like I said, we're getting ready for the move. We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, we had spring break, I got sick, we had a vehicle, um, you know, a lot of stuff happening um, in the next, you know, month or so. So we've really been having to to buckle down and get stuff. So when I can stream, I'm trying to stream as much as I can so you guys get some tickets in. But um, we're planning on doing the, um, the giveaway the weekend of, let me see, I got to bring up a calendar. I'm so, I'm so like lost and everything. 
Does anybody remember? I think it was the weekend of the, the 5th, if I'm not mistaken, of May. That's a Friday. Yeah. I, I want to say that's when we had planned on it. Because we'll do the giveaway that Friday, and then the three people that win um, will have to, to get with us over in Discord and, and get with one of the staff members and say, hey, I can do the run this day, you know, this weekend or whatever. That way, because, you know, I know not everybody, everybody has work. Everybody lives in different areas in the world. So I don't want people to be like, oh, well, I, I'm not going to be awake. I won't be able to do my run if I if I win. How do I get in the contest? You know, it's nothing like that. Like, we're we're trying to be fair for everybody. We know people got work and school and, you know, they live everywhere. It's, yeah, we're trying to be cool with it. What's going on, Disco Ninja? Disco Ninja, your best run so far is 4 minutes and 22 seconds. Wow. Bear Grizzly, if you're still there, you got some competition, my brother. You hear what he said? <laughs> oh, World of Mars, where have you been? Where have you been, World of Mars? Cuddy Blue would be cool to have. Yeah, man, it's an awesome ship. He says, no, I need to see it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Bear Grizzly is challenging smokes. Man. You know, but here's the thing, guys. You guys got to remember. You guys got to remember this. You still have to have your name drawn, okay? Yeah, so I really hope whoever has their name drawn has been practicing. Because I tell you what, if they ain't been practicing, it might hurt a little bit. <laughs> it might hurt some feelings, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to try to run to the other side. Oh, Bear Grizzly. <laughs> he says he can smell the BS. Oh, man. Was there another building over here? Yes, there was. Let's see if there's a, a something. Let's see if there was a something. Oh, there's a player there. Oh, boy. You got to watch out. He might be trying to steal my goods. If he does, that's A-OK. -okay. It's part of the game. I don't care. Oh, Smokes is coming in with the gunfire. Wow, man. Smokes has got his laser guns ready. He's ready to fight and take you down, Bear Grizzly. He said, stop smelling your own shoes, my brother. Now, there you go, Bear Grizzly. Look, right there, right there, my man. An M50, black and blue. Oh, Bear Grizzly. Oh, that's what I need on my computer desk. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bear Grizzly, you should have never got me going on this stuff, man. Ooh, look at all this these goodies. Got some food. I don't remember what that is. I don't care what that is. I'm taking it, taking it, taking it. Give me some more food. Food. And this little jackety thing. Somebody else can have the rest. He says, I want to see you. Oh, boy. Boy, Bear Grizzly. Meh. Bear Grizzly is ready. He is ready, my guy. For your 22, 422. Oh, boy. World of Mars is like, I'm here to steal your shoes. I'm here to steal your shoes. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. Love that. The oil pumpers or power or whatever. I don't know what those things are, but boy, that looks so cool. I'm so glad they move. Wee. So yeah, we haven't had any issues with this, guys. We haven't had any issues with this at all. We did the mission. Um, we had a little bit of a warping issue where we couldn't, you know, QT over here. But, you know, we turned it off, turned it back on, took the battery out, plugged the cable in. You know, all the, the big stuff that they tell you to do. You really want to see him do it in 422? Hey, man. Hey. I think we all do. We all want to see that. Bear Grizzly's like, oh, man, I got I got another week and a half, two weeks to, to practice. All the way to the rover keypad. So that's one of the, the, the things that Kyle suggested is you got to make it all the way to the rover keypad. So from the, the, the time your time starts is whenever you get the 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 code from the thing in the wall to the time you get all the way to the rover keypad. Okay? That's what he's saying. 
So apparently that's the way to do it. That's the way to see it. If <laughs> you're grumpy a lot. <laughs> oh, smokes. Oh, smokes. Okay, so we just got a little bit of money. A little bit, not a lot. Just messing around. Delivery. Oh, man. All those packages. Whew. I'd rather do the single packages ones right now. What time are we rolling on? Bada bop, bada bop, bada bum. Okay. Let's see here. We're, we got to go to Hurston, deliver on Hurston. Okay. Go to Hurston, deliver on Hurston. Pick up on Hurston, go to Aberdeen and Ariel. Okay, okay. Hurston, Hurston, Ariel, and Magda. Oh, man. All right, I'll do these two. Yeah, see, even the missions are updating rather quickly. So I got to go to, what's that, Pinewood on Hurston. Come on, bad boy. Four twenty two. You know what I think it is, Smokes. I think Bear Grizzly is nervous. I think he's a little bit nervous, my guy. Because I think he said the other day that his best time was like five minutes or something. Real slow. <laughs> Real slow. Oh, man. Bear Grizzly's like, Bronco, not at all. I'm not, I've got this. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to go to OM3 for whatever reason. At least until we can get to the other side of the planet. We're going to QT around it like a million times. Let's go. You're not close to five minutes? Hey, I'll tell you what I'm close to. I'm close to running out of breath and dying. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, if you guys watched the replay yesterday, I got to the famous Kyle jump, and as soon as I got there, I had to get in Discord, and like Kyle was awesome enough to, to get in chat with me and come and help me out. And um, he, he led me all the way to the surface. I was so excited. I didn't miss a single jump or anything. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. And then I get all the way to the end. And I, I do this little like jump from the red pipe thingamajig to the, the grate or whatever. And I missed. And I got stuck. And then I got incapacitated because I ran out of air. And I was like, no. And according to Kyle, I'm like 20 feet away from the rover. All I had to do was put the code in and I would have been out of there. Man. <laughs> so exciting. I was so mad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was like, Rrr. I wouldn't show you guys, but I was like, Rrr, yesterday. Like a dog with a chew toy. Trespassing controlled area. Leave or risk. How am I trespassing? What are you talking about? I'm not trespassing. Incoming missile. What? My god, what are we talking about here? I don't need an incoming missile. What is it, L? I forget what all the noises are. Boy, that's a long-range missile if it's still coming. Come on, baby. Oh! Man. I 
was right on warp too. Was right on warp. Oh well. I guess whatever it was wanted that stuff more than, you know, more than me. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. It said trespassing. That's unfortunate, man. I don't even know where I was. I don't even know where I am right now. Man, that's kind of unfortunate right there. I don't ever come here. Well, I guess somebody wanted the food that I had. <laughs> oh, man. At least I didn't pick it up. They wanted those cheeseburgers and, and cookie cookies or whatever they're called. They wanted them so bad. So bad. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Trolls. But it did say... Maybe it wasn't a player. I don't know. Man, I'm lost. How do I get out of here? Maybe it wasn't a player. That's what I'm wondering. Because if you look at it, it said I was trespassing, but I warped there, and it was immediately you're trespassing. Like, really? Okay. It's kind of odd. I didn't know I was trespassing to um, just sit there. And then it didn't even give me the... Um, the flight suit back. So I gotta go get my own flight suit? Is that what's going on here? Oh boy. Residence. I'm not even going the right way. Okay, now that none of that makes sense at all. Cause I'm in Lorriville. Okay. Never mind. I had it selected on utility. Unarmor, there we go. I was gonna say, this is my home, guys. How am I not getting my, my stuff back? Okay. Alright. Give me a helmet. There's a helmet. Gotta go at least with a tractor beam. Okay. Maybe we'll get to get our stuff back. Maybe we won't. I have no clue. Where am I at? Where am we going? Let's try to follow that guy. So am I not allowed to go to Pinewood? Is that what it is? Step away from the platform edge. go we're getting off the train now did i totally miss it texting and training is not allowed let's go let me off the train i can't believe that i'm really not sure what i was attacked by i don't know if that was a player or npc was that a station What do we have here? Hmm. 
That might be a thing. Let's do the the nomad. Three, two, one, let's go, baby, let's go. Yeah, look at that. See, the hangar came really quick that time, so I'm not really sure what's going on with the hangar. We say it was nine. It's either nine or eight. I can never see that. All right, let's go. There it is. There's a wonderful little nomad. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try to see if we can get our stuff back. If not, that's okay. Not a big deal. I'd really love to know what it was that shot us up. I like how in the chat, when you look at people, what they're talking about. <laughs> What's going on, Bacon? Bacon, when are you going to get the game, buddy? I know you created an account or something, but um, are you going to get in and play? Come on. I, I don't feel like I haven't seen you in forever, Bacon. Of course, I know I've been really busy lately. Clear to launch. Let's go. Bacon says it wasn't me. <laughs> You're playing a little bit for the free fly? Okay, awesome, man. How'd you, uh, how'd you fare out there in the the universe, the verse, as they like to say? It's like it doesn't even want to show us our marker. Wonderful. Go. The AI in the middle. Okay, awesome, man. Awesome. Well, definitely, man. When you decide to get your, your starter pack and all that stuff, let me know if you decide to get into the game and, and you're enjoying it. You know, there's a lot of different aspects of the game that is just super, super fun, man. Super, super fun. I mean, it's definitely not for everybody, but I, uh, I recommend it. It's a fun game. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh man. So I gotta get over to the other side there. Hmm. Yeah, I bet you my stuff and everything is all gone. I'm not seeing it on the Normally, you can see it on the map and all of the above. I'm not seeing anything anywhere. Well, there... I'm so lost.
Let's see if we can get to it on this side. Okay, let's see if we can see our ship from this side. Before it tries to take me and throw me all the way down into the planet. I'm not really caring about the mission right now. Come on, baby. Yeah, see, it's not letting me look at it on the map here. Your new glasses arrived. Awesome. What kind of glasses did you get, World of Mars? Okay, quantum travel engaged. Let's see if we can see our ship now. OM6. So maybe I've got to get to OM6, huh? See, it looks like... Uh, say, in a thousand kilometers right there. So I don't know if that's a thousand kilometers on the other side of the planet. Or is that straight down? We're about to find out, guys. I think it's on the other side of the planet. Fly around all day trying to find this little backpack with a little bit of food in it. <laughs> I want my armor back. I want my armor back. Come on. Yeah, I really don't know how else to get to the ship besides to fly straight down to it. And I, I don't know because it won't let me mark onto it exactly where it is like i think it might be an orbital marker six but orbital marker six is saying 2000 let me see here i mean is that what i did did i fly to the comma ray but i thought you could fly to comma rays so confused. Pick my guy black out. Yeah, I think that's on the other side of the planet. I don't think that's right here. I mean, what would you guys say? Down to the planet's 1,200 kilometers? It's got to be on the other side. It's got to be. I'm going to say, yeah, I think it's on the other side of the planet. Where is another orbital marker? Let's go to comms array. Maybe that'll take us halfway there. Okay. 
Let's see, what do we got? What is this one? There's Orbital Marker 4. Let's try that. Let's get your gear back, Simulator. See, when I just flew through there, it did it again. It tried to tell me that I was trespassing. What is going on with that? I mean, it shouldn't be telling me I'm trespassing. That's four. Where is five and six? See, when I was at that last one, I was actually closer. I was at like 1,100. Yeah, still 1,400. Man. That's two. That's 14. Let's see if we can get one that's around 14 as well. We'll just go to Miller. Let's go to Miller real quick. Let's see if that puts me on the other side. Come on, baby. Okay, there's Millard. Now, let's see if that put us anywhere closer to where our stuff supposedly is. It might be up in space. It might be in the middle of the planet. Quantum travel complete. Let's open the space just a little bit. Turn around and see if we can see it. I mean, that's a thousand kilometers now. I mean, that took off four. That one's 19. That's 1,800, 1,000. I mean, should we just try to fly down to it? I don't think it, it dropped down there. Problem is, I can't see anything in these dark planets, man. I mean, maybe it might take us a minute to get there, but we'll see what happens. It's not like we got anything else going on. Man, the ground is just so dark. Okay, there we go. Now we can kind of see the the horizon a little bit. It's like I can kind of see the ground a little bit. It's like you see your death coming. There it is.
Yeah, way too dark, guys. Way too dark. I mean, at this, I don't know if I'm over water. I don't know if I'm over land. That water is death. Come on. There it is. Man, bad boy just doesn't want to touch ground. I just want to be able to see the ground at this point. There it is. Okay. Talk about total noob moments. We might be flying for a few minutes, that's for sure. And the only reason I'm doing this is to see if I can get back the gear that we lost. I mean, it wasn't high-value gear or anything. I'm trying to see why we actually got attacked. If it was a player, I don't care about that. But if it was, I was in the wrong area, it said trespassing, but... Man, it was trespassing and gone, dude. You were gone. Yeah, that's got to be on the other side. I mean, I haven't gained any ground at all. Thousand kilometers? Got to be on the other side of the planet. I can't zoom into the planet. Oh, that's such a pain. Oi! Got to find something that's a thousand kilometers away and warp to that section. Crazy thing is the money I made off that last mission, I could go and buy all the stuff. At this point, it's the principle. <laughs> it's the principle of it, guys. Come on. Thanks for the follow. What's going on there, Twin Sava? Siva, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for following. Do you play Star Citizen? If you do, what is your profession of choice? What do you like to do in the verse? Oi, I did it. So those two, that's about 800 away. That'd take off about 1,000, if that's roughly right. You're a miner and trade runner. Awesome. Very awesome. What is your go-to ships for um, for trade? What do you like to do? Mining, it's, you know, it's either one or the other. So dark. So dark. Let's get out there. Give us a little bit more of a shot there. Oh, man. 
Yeah, we're actually um, we're actually all pretty excited that there was only a soft wipe last night. So we got a lot of people that are back to playing Star Citizen again. So we're definitely trying to, you know, get out there and network and meet people in the game and all that stuff. Starting as Cuddy Black, nice. I love the Cuddy Black. I love all the Cuddies for sure. But work up to the C2? Yeah, c two's nice for sure. Awesome. Yeah, Hercules. I'm a big fan of the Hercules. I've got the M2 myself. I really, really like all of the um, Hercules variants. Package. Let's go to that one. Okay, bomb. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. So, Twin Siva, do you play with a, a an org, a community? What do you got? Do you, are you a solo runner? Do you like to do mining with a bunch of people? Did they fix the Cutlass Black? Yeah, I keep hearing there were some issues with it, but I, I don't know, Bear Grizzly. I don't know. The pilot seat was killing people. Really? Okay, so that brought us about 1,800 kilometers. So that should have took about 1,000 kilometers off of that trip towards trying to find our stuff. Let's go down here and go ahead and pick up this box at least, and then we'll mess around with it. Now, was the pilot seat actually killing people, or was it just keeping um, keeping people in the seat and they couldn't get out? Because that's a huge difference. Solo, okay. Oh, man. I, that They need to fix that. That they need to fix. That whole co-pilot seat issue, I don't know what's going on with that. But that wasn't just the Cuddy Black, though. That was happening in, in you know quite a few other ships. Legit murder. Yeah, instant dead. Yeah, that was happening in the Constellation and the Nomad, the ship I'm... Well, not in the Nomad. Um, What's the other one that has the um, co-pilot seats that it was doing it to? I don't know. I'd have to look it up on the forums again. But yeah, it was happening to quite a bit of people. Said the Nomad. I'm in the Nomad. Nomad doesn't have pilot seats, co-pilot seats. What are we talking about? Landing complete. I. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that's a, that's the a key in this game: playing with people and having a good old time. You get in a ship and it instantly kills you. I mean, what did you do? Name your ship Christine? Oh man. Some of you guys are probably a little too young to know what movie reference that is. That's okay. <laughs> Your trade might not be legal. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Hey, as long as you're having fun, though, that's all that matters. That's what it's all about. Try to keep people to continuously play Star Citizen. That's it. Oh, boy. I need at least a drink. There we are. I'll take the rest of it, but... Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm just putting it in the other inventory. <laughs> Nerd. I can't believe that. Yep, I did that. I forget I don't have storage on me. <laughs> Let's grab this container and go see if we can grab our stuff. Just name the economy.
Guy always seems like he's walking faster when he's crouching, doesn't it? Everybody says, oh, it's just closer to the ground. You can see it. But no, I'm telling you, just look. I mean, it, it, it seems like it, but I mean, they're going the same speed. Oh, man, those jokes go right over my heads, guys. Right over my head. Come on. Come on. This name of the economy because it's killing people. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, you guys got me on that one. And the dad jokes are coming through. Oh, yeah. Man. Closed door. There we go. There we go. All right. Put that bad boy down. Let's go see if we can find this gear once again. <laughs> you know what they say when you got to explain a joke. <laughs> Either the joke wasn't the best or the person listening was just a moron. <laughs> that was me. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can get up there and find our stuff. One more time. I don't even see it anymore. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, the, the death markers are really a pain in the butt to find. Like, you can't see them on the map, but when you look at the planet, you can see them. Like, I've been having an issue with it. I mean, if I lost it, it's not that big a deal. I, it wasn't pledge store items. It was just, you know, stuff that I had randomly looted. The armor was, you know, the um, the iceberg armor that you get down on uh, Loraville. But, you know, you should be able to get your armor and stuff back. So they got to fix these, you know, these markers for sure. Little stuff like that is kind of kind of the reason you, you, you keep going in the game is that persistent stuff, you know. Like, you want to get your stuff back. See, like it says, like, look, there's the marker right there. How did I die? Well, when I when I started this mission, what ends up happening is I warped here. You know, I QT'd over here, and it said that I was trespassing. Like, I warped here. I warped to the planet. I warped to Hurston, and it said I was trespassing in space. So I, I tried to leave and immediately had missile lock on me, and I couldn't I couldn't evade the missile. It was just too quick. And killed me. But yeah, there's my stuff right there. A thousand kilometers away. So is it in the middle of the planet? That's what I'm wondering. Because nothing else is a thousand kilometers. So for me to find it is, you know, almost impossible. Markers in the middle of the planet. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, the body could, yeah, could definitely be anywhere. So I'm really not worried about it. This is kind of unfortunate. They got to get the fixing. They got to get the fixing the stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and go drop this box off. Keep making money so we can do what? We can go buy all that gear back, right? Drop off package there. Where is there? Where was that? Was that Thaddeus? I think that was Thaddeus. Or Thaddeus or whatever it's called. Come on, baby. Boy, that default quantum drive is just so slow on spoiling up. Just whoop.
1830. Oh, man, that's going to be late. Such a late time to get a package in the mail. Here we go, back on the dark side of the planet once again. It's like these quests are designed to make you go dark. I thought it said I needed to go to Thaddeus. Alright, let's see what we're doing here. You hate the night? Yeah, the night... I think the night in this game... Yeah, Thaddeus, that's right. I think the night in this game is a little bit overworked. Like, they kind of went a little bit crazy on it. You know what I mean? I, I really think they did. Like it's just it's almost too dark, or the, the ship lights aren't bright enough, and I know they they want you to rely on the instrument panels. Like I get all that, I really understand it, but man is it ever dark. And you know, I've got all these lights in my face, you know, all over the place right here in the office, you know, for you know streaming and all that silliness. So it's even darker for me. You, you, like you guys might be able to see it when I look at my other screens. I mean, I can see it on my, my stream, but as far as me looking at the main screen that I'm actually playing on, yeah, it's rough. It really is. I mean, the best I could do is go like this and pray. <laughs> That'd be the best. The best I can do. And slow her down a little bit and just kind of glide down to the ground. Yeah, some type of night vision, you know, yeah, I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah, some type of night vision would be awesome. Here's my body marker again. I kind of lost the Thaddeus marker. Where, oh, where did it go? Completely going the wrong way anyway. All right, let's get down, 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 down to the planet. I think too many people have had too much issues with flying down to the planet and crashing. It's like, oh man, I just, you got to be so careful, especially when you got a cargo and you're trying to get a, a mission done. Bunkers are fun again. Yes, yes. I love the bunkers. Yeah, I actually had all my armor on. Man, I had just I just got that gun and all that ammo. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, yep, yep. Good thing ammo and guns are not really expensive in the game. I know you can get a lot of them by doing bunkers and all that stuff anyways. Let's see, there we are.
Where, oh, where is that entrance at? There it is. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, most of the time, if you just get into doing bunkers, you don't really have to buy anything. First couple bunkers you do, you arm up. The next set of bunkers you go in, guns a-blazing. Oh, yeah. I'm really surprised that, you know, more people haven't caught on to why they turned on the trespassing feature in bunkers. And I, I really think that, you know, the, the whole idea behind it is, you know, so many people would go in and take, 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 take from the bunkers. Then they've never, ever had to buy stuff. Now you got that trespassing timer. You got to get in, loot a little bit, and get out of there before they blow you and your ship up. A giant bait to pirates? No, I mean, if you have loot on you, I mean, they can kill you all day long, but if you don't have anything on you, they ain't getting nothing from you. There we go, another little silly mission done. That way we can at least buy the stuff that we lost. Anything good? Nothing at all. What do we got here? Come on, bad boy, sit down. Did I not hit the button? I thought I did. It's got an ad. Um, well, no, the, the cargo runs I'm doing are not really, I mean, they're, they're basic missions, you know, go pick up a box and then go and, you know, deliver it somewhere. I'm not necessarily doing the cargo where I buy, you know, a whole bunch of Laranite and then turn around and go sell it. Um, you know, I'm not doing salvaging right now where I've got all that in there or even mining where, you know, if they destroyed my ship. So if somebody attacks me right now, they're, they're basically getting... A, a mining laser, a, a tractor beam. Um, you know, they could salvage this little tiny nomad. They might get some food off of me, but they're not really getting anything that they can really go and sell for a lot of money. So it doesn't, doesn't in my opinion, it doesn't really make sense to attack somebody that's doing cargo runs. Besides just the fact that you want to kill somebody that, yeah, is doing a cargo run and not in a fighter. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what I need to do? I need to log off so I can stop looking at that body. You know, let's let's do this. Let's warp out of this sector. Battle, 
Lending gear retracted. The old Nomad, the old faithful pizza box. Oh, I didn't add my blue and uh, I didn't add my blue paint to it. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Alright, so we have officially warped out of there. We don't need to go all the way there. Alright, let's try this again. See if it brings me right back to it. It's like taking out the battery, plugging it back in, all the above. You gotta try different things to get your get your stuff going in this game. A lot of troubleshooting. That's something you'll find. A lot of troubleshooting in the game. If not, we'll just go ahead and log out and log back in. That way the stuff disappears. Um, it was roughly in space. Because like I said, I warped in and stopped and was sitting there and it said trespassing. So I tried to fly. So I, I really think that it's down in the middle of the planet. But, you know. Like I said, it's not it's not a lot of, lot of gear anyways. It's just a lot of food and, you know, armor set that I had gotten down on Hurston. Yeah, it's still saying the same exact location. Yeah, that's right in the middle of the planet. There's no way. They keep saying too close, too close. <laughs> Obstructed, too close. So let's go ahead and leave this stuff here. We'll do the famous thing that everybody is all so scared of to do right now. Then you guys will see that this does... Well, you know what? It worked this morning. It worked this morning. I can feel the heartbeat and anxiety stress levels going up right now. Don't do it, Brago. Don't do it. It's okay. Remember, this is how you do it. You hit log out. You don't hit escape. Yeah, that's right. You log out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you not, do not hit escape when you lie down and exit the game. Okay, don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. I promise you, it's not the idea that you want to do. Whew, we got quite a few people in. Let's see what happens. See if it lets me back in the game. Well, it looks like we're in the ship. So bed logging is back and, and active and working, which is really right. Really, 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 really all right. That makes me happy for sure. Yeah, and see what's crazy about that, Twin Siva, is EU servers for, for me last night were working amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I don't... Man, it's crazy. I didn't have any issues. It's just, it's nuts. Well, 
Yeah, but I wasn't in a nomad though. I wasn't in a nomad. Whenever I uh, logged off or whenever I died, I was not in a nomad. Yeah, no, I was in a uh, a 315P. That's kind of my my daily driver go-to ship. I really really like it. Um it just works well for me. I know it's not a fighter or none of that stuff, but doing cargo runs, you know, the delivery runs is what I mean. It it just works, you know. But yeah, no, that that was definitely not me. Is that the ship? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. I know. Well, with Persistent Universe, I mean, it ought to be somewhere around here, right? Persistent Entity Streaming, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you would assume that the ship is here. Let's go. Let's get on down there. Quantum travel complete, baby. Yeah, so if you guys haven't had a chance to enter the giveaway that we're doing here on the channel, make sure you guys type in exclamation point, enter giveaway, all one word. That will get you into the drawing, and what happens is on the, the weekend of the 5th of next month, of May, we are going to be doing a drawing that picks three names, okay? Each person, each winner, will get a random flair item from the store. Either an armor set, a weapon set, some plushies, you know, just kind of whatever. All right, so everybody will walk away with something if their name was drawn. All right, and then... What happens is they are now entered in the contest to win the Cutlass Blue. Okay, and how that works is they're going to have to run the gauntlet. So they'll have to get a crime stat in game. All right, when they get the crime stat in game, that'll take them over to prison to Kessler or Kesslinear or whatever it's called. And they will have to get the code out of the wall. And whoever runs the tunnel the fastest, all right, whoever runs the tunnel the fastest. Okay, we'll win the Cutlass Blue. We're going to have people, everybody in Discord, you know, that does it. We'll have one of our staff members over in Discord be there. And they'll. What, the timer starts as soon as you get your code. And the timer ends as soon as you get to the rover to type in the code to get the rover or whatever it is there. All right, so whoever has the fastest run time will win the Cutlass Blue. So you guys still have uh, roughly a week or two to practice getting your time as fast as you can get it. Some people are claiming they can do it in four to five minutes. Um, yeah, I'm not. I am no good at that, but it's just a little fun competition. We've done a lot of different stuff over the past, you know, five or six months. You know, we've given away a lot of stuff. We've had a lot of fun. Um, you know, just really had a really good time with everybody. Um, we've given almost, what is it, 29 copies of Hogwarts Legacy out. We've given multiple copies of Diablo 4 out. We've given a whole bunch of ships away in Star Citizen. You know, we really love to give back to the community, guys. So if you guys are interested, if you guys have Star Citizen, if you play Star Citizen, and you're wanting to try to win the Cutlass Blue, remember, you got to run the gauntlet. And what I say the gauntlet is the cave system to get out of there. All right? It is pretty uh, pretty brutal. So you got at least a week or two to start practicing. There are some people that are in the Discord, if you type in exclamation point Godfire, that can help show you the ropes a little bit. You can go on YouTube and watch people escape prison as well. So there's a quite a few different ways that you can learn the route. Um, yeah, it's totally up to you. Whoa, got a little bit windy there. Oh, bump. Got a little bit of bump bump. Oh, no. Engine systems. 
There you go. 64 tickets, 55 tickets. Awesome, guys. Awesome. I just ran into the back door, not paying attention. Let me out of this bad boy, this alien crazy ship. I love my Nomad. Don't catch me the wrong way. I really, really do. Put it away. You have the golden ticket? Oh, okay. Hey, man. Well, I can't wait to see some people really try it, because I tell you what, it is it is a rough run. It really, really is. If you haven't done it before, or you know, if you've only done it once or twice, you know, one wrong step, and you're starting all over. Like, you gotta get out of there. And some people are just pros at it. Absolute pros. Where are we? There it is. Store. All right, let's see what we got out there today. Anybody at all? Okay. Test out some things right quick. Yeah, I definitely appreciate you guys all hanging out with us this, this wonderful Friday for sure. It has been awesome. Got to learn a little bit and see the fact that we don't have to worry about the wipe. Anybody that was playing since 318.1 came out, and guess what you got to do? You got to play around and have some fun. Oh, yeah. You got to have some fun on 318.1 and collect some money in-game. You got to collect some wonderful, wonderful reputation, and you got to keep it because they did a soft wipe. Man, I love that. Absolutely love that. Wow. Man. But anyways, as far as that goes, guys, we are going to go ahead and we are going to raid, raid, raid somebody real quick. Absolutely. If you guys are wanting to get into some more Star Citizen content, I know it's been kind of light here today. Um, and that's A-OK. -okay. I know people got school and work and all that kind of stuff. But we're trying to keep people interested in some Star Citizen and get out to some other people that are doing giveaways and, and all types of stuff. So make sure you guys all, whenever we raid somebody, I know we only got like 10 or 15 people in here, you know, hit that follow button. Whenever we raid people, talk to them, engage with them, all the good stuff, show them that we mean business. And yeah, make sure you tune in to us live next time we go live. That way you guys are collecting tickets so you can get into this, this wonderful little prison run that we're going to do. That way you can get your Cutlass Blue. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and raid, how do you say his name, Nebel? Is that what his name is? I think his name is Nebel. Let's go ahead and raid Nebel. We haven't got to raid Nebel yet. So, all right, guys, we will see you guys back here soon. Make sure you keep that notification bell on so you know the next time we go live. My name is Bronco, and thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Here we go.